welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. And so here it is, Gene. It's showtime. <laughs> the business is done. Let's get into it with the realness. You ready? Yeah. Let's get this show started, okay? Yeah. Today I'm going to be your doctor. So I am Dr. Mel. You can call me Dr. Mel. And today we are going to talk about ways to tell her pussy stinks. Hmm. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. AIDS minor right now. <laughs> Why did you turn away to blow your nose from the microphone when you know the audience likes to hear it? I don't know. It's just a habit. I'm a polite guy. You're not polite. I am polite. You don't look. They loved it when I sneezed. It became a, 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 a if I had worldwide a sneeze, sensation. I would sneeze, but I didn't have a sneeze. You brought home AIDS from Nerd Braska. Oh man! And I shoot a special this week. I mean, it's the worst possible so time. I, um, yeah, I went to the doctor. And I just said, like, look, man, normally I would just ride this out. Like, it's just a cold or something. But I can't risk anything. So he's just like, we'll just give you a fucking high dosage of everything. Don't risk it. That's what he told me. Don't risk it. Don't text while driving. I can't do it. <laughs> so we'll see you, man. I hope I make it through it. You, I, I know you will. And here's why. Uh, you're strong. You've also got many days to go in the week, yeah. so you'll you'll hopefully you'll be strong by the time you have to tape. And you know something else? You're a pro. You've been doing this for a million years. You know you've yeah. done it. You've done stand up sick. Not that you want to. It's terrible. But you know what? You'll get an adrenaline push. You know what happens? Like you can perform with a fever of like 102 and diarrhea because your body shuts it down. I booked a car to drive me for that show tomorrow, just because. Yeah. I, I was like, don't I don't, don't want to get. You know what I mean? Like, just want to relax in the car. Yeah. Not be stressed about it. Don't but be anyway, stressed. Pussies are stinking. People want to yeah. know why. Yeah. What's going on? I can tell you. Okay, I you can tell you how to like, tell. How do you know how bad pussy smell? I don't because I won't talk about mine. But I don't. And um, I'm talking about what guys have been telling me. They've been like, oh my God, I fucked this bitch. That pussy smells so bad. Like, yeah, Melanie. Wow. Dr. Mel. Dr. Mel is talking about, I fucked this bitch. Yeah. So. Jeez. Take her to a club. Take her to a club. And you, you see clam? she dances by herself and shit. Make her twerk. Tell her, hey, how about you twerk? If she says no, if she say, I can't twerk because everybody can. And then oh. when she twerks, that's a way because, you know, she be moving the booty and then the yeah. booty opens up, opens up, opens up. And then the smell there's like, comes out. So mm. Mm. I think she has a lot of experience, actually, Melanie, Dr. Melanie. Well, how would you know how to identify a stinky bee she's, she's, un unless you have one? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't accuse Melanie of, Dr. excuse me, Dr. Melanie of having one. <laughs> uh, where are you credential, Dr. Mel? But she is giving you ways to figure it out, which yeah. I appreciate. I can tell you some other ways. Wow. Stick your finger in there? No. Does she wear patchouli? Ugh. That's... I'd rather your pussy smell like a fucking sewer in New Orleans the day after Mardi Gras than smell patchouli oil. Yeah. Well, that's why they put it on there. It, it, it masks... Other smells, patchouli. I, I'm convinced that that's the smell of dirty it is box. Rancid. I think that's made from dirty vaginas. It's disgusting. If she says no, you already know. Okay, stinky pussy. If she says, <laughs> "What's she doing?" Yes, and know. she does it, then you can try smelling already because you know. Yeah. The the booty cheeks opening. It's yeah. like I can't twerk to save my life. Free pass for the bad smell of the pussy. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd say another way you can tell is everybody at Burning Man. Has a stinky pussy. Everybody. 
Yeah. They're not showering for a week and they're on that playa and it's hot. And all they do is hose people down. There's no showers. Dreads. White girls with dreads. Yeah. Oh, dre- if you have dreadlocks, it stinks down there too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I and mean, if you're white, if yeah. you're white and you have dreadlocks, definitely. Yeah. I'm going to go and say. A lot of leather, a lot of leather wristbands. and Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your box stinks. <laughs> And well, leather pants aren't very porous either. Oh my I'm god! I'm gonna go with leather pants. I I'm gonna go, and, and this is a this is gonna be a hot debate. Yeah. Um, women in Birkenstocks. Yeah, yeah. You can tell by shoe wear, footwear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You look down. If they have like dirty feet and pussy cars. No, I don't down. know if the Birkenstocks really equal that, but I do think how you take care of your the rest of your body is indicative of how you take care I of think that so. part. Yeah. yeah, I think it's true. Second, I think that um, if you guys are comfortable enough and you already go to a house, go smell her dirty, dirty, dirty underwear. I know it sounds kind of gross, but I am telling you that you should take a chance and go smell it. Mm-hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Is she the, the vagina detective? Yeah. Do you think you should- <laughs> I mean, I guess you could tell, right, by smelling her underwear? I mean, if you're going to go through the trouble of having her twerk and then finding her dirty undies and sniffing them, why not just hook up with her and yeah. find out? Just eat that stinker. Well, no, you, you could put a digit down there and sniff your digit. And then just be like, I mean, isn't that? <laughs> I got itch right here. Yeah. I don't know. I what's what do you, What have you been doing historically? Yeah, I mean, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if it's probably why like we're together. Fucking trash can i don't care <laughs> i've uh jesus i remember encountering one that was not in where like, county no what i encountered say? one that oh. was not like the most pristine and whatever it didn't bother me okay i mean i wasn't eating fucking meals down there you know right yeah you just you shove it in and you're done I don't know. I think all this stuff about stinky this and that. It's like, you know what? We're all people. Yeah, I know. It's just some days you nasty, some days you ain't. I've smelled my own balls sometimes <laughs> where I've been like, Jesus, man. <laughs> right. That smells horrific. Right. I mean, don't you feel like they're, it's just hot and some, they're yeah. just good days and bad days? You got bad ball days for sure. <laughs> that that area between the your thigh and the, and the ball bag, <laughs> you can put your thumb down there like this. And yeah, like, and that's nasty. Not on every day, but there's some days where you're like, that is foul. Yeah, I think it's interesting that there's so much focus on stinky vaginas, but stinky balls are another problem. It's a real issue, oh. acting like it's not an issue. <laughs> uh, it's another thing that's dividing our nation. There's cat people, there's dog people, yeah. stinky vaginas and stinky balls. Yeah, no yeah. one's talking about those stinky balls. No one's talking about It's a woman's balls. problem. That's it's silly. It's a, silly. It's a real issue. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, it's just, it's all body parts. Who cares, right? Let's see her other her other insight. Let's check yeah. out Dr. Mel. Sure. Three. If a girl is always crossing her legs, you know she has a stinky pussy. Because why are your legs ass crossed? <laughs> it's not comfortable. I know they're talking about, oh, it's ladylike, la, la. It's not comfortable to have your legs crossed at all times. So either I'm not a lady or I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Nobody wants to cross their legs at all times. Only the one with smelly pussy. Yeah. Um, I do love her accent, and I could watch her all day. Yeah, I like, I just, I like, I like watching her. I like her expressions. Yeah, she's really pretty. Is she English stuff. as a second language, though? No, it's bah- Bahamian. No? I mean, you're just assuming Bahamas? that? Bahamas? Yeah. Why, bah- why Bahamas? It's not that accent. Or, like, she's an island. But you Islander. said Bahamas. Like Something, I don't know. Oh, okay, but you said, it like, I know the island. I know the I'm. Oh, wait, what? Aren't you the master of accents? Well, yeah. You tell me, master. Well, I thought she struggled just enough where it would imply that maybe English is a second language. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, who knows? You know. All right. It's a patois. It sounds like a certain patois. Could be, could be. Could be oh, yeah. Jamaica. Another one. All the girls you see with those crazy body and all of that, but then they have like, they're sweating from the pussy. <laughs> what do you expect? Of course the pussy smells. Like, what? why are you sweating? I mean, I understand it's skin and stuff, but... You know, you sweat, most people stink. So if you sweat from the pussy, your pussy, your pussy probably stink too. Yeah. Huh. Good theories. This is an interesting theory. <laughs> she also says you could do this. I, I, I didn't know. This is like a pretty aggressive move. Fifth, 
let's say you're in the car and you're driving well, for like still going on good, like 20 30 minutes you guys get to your destination she gets out just act like close the door for like five minutes yep. and come back out and be like oh i forgot something in the car go to the car and smell the seat oh, boy. smell the car if the car smell is a little different than what you're used to you know that's her and you know that's most likely <coughs> a vagina hmm dr mel so interesting she has more suggestions. So, more? There's more than this? Yeah. Well, she's really obsessed with these stinky vaginas. Some, I think someone somebody, got in her head. Somebody said it to her once, you know? Yeah. But then again, there is the regular road. If you want to take your chance or whatever, well, while you mess around, I know you all do that already, so I don't really need to tell you, but you finger her and then there you smell. You there, if it there stinks, well, you say. run away. Some people don't run away. They still take the L and be like, okay, it was thinking, but I was too deep in it. I See, had I, to do it. Cause I think I she's a native French speaker. I know a lot of oh. you guys who do that. She's a yeah, native maybe. French or Ivory Coast or something. Could be. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you know. I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. <laughs> Turks and Caicos. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm saying maybe like Haitian. Could be. See, that would be a good guess. I, I hear I hear more native. of a patois than a, an actual like ESL thing happening. Okay. Maybe even Jamaican. No. Okay. No. I'm going to go with Haitian. That was a Because guess. she's like light skin and she's got the that blue eyes. That does imply Haitian. Or Bahamian. Neither where's Okay, those. I know. Where's Where's Rihanna from? Barbados. She's from Barbados. She looks like she's got Rihanna's uh, coloring and stuff. That's not. You Just stop guessing. Never guess again. <laughs> that should be the name of your new album. Never, never guess again. Never talk. Yeah. Stop talking. Um, this is kind of exciting. One of the things that <laughs> we play on here quite often is, you know, when when great audio comes into our life. So yeah. um, let me see if I can. This is This was such a big hit on our show, and we assumed it was gone. Uh, that it would never enter our life again. Are we? Are we doing yeah, it? We're doing it. I, 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 I'm so excited. At it. So just tell us how it happened. Your phone was <laughs> off. Oh my God, no, <laughs> no, my phone. My phone was silence, and I don't. I don't usually accept phone calls after a certain time. We put our son down, and it's time for me to relax. Yeah. I never. I normally don't even look at the phone, and I got a voicemail from a strange number I didn't recognize. I transcribe it. I like to look and it couldn't transcribe it. I hit play. Should I just play and it? And this is what I heard. Hello, Salome. In company, tell my, in your mind, tell my, I'm Jack, tell my, don't pop it, you don't have a Tell me, okay, book on, take it, tell my day. In a mere, unjaro, but you're not a panjo, the Lord, unjaro treats me for that. Anywhere there's a tell my, you just have to locate it. You know, you have to go through and then. زمین رو عشنگ پارچه سفید بندازی ببینی کجا هستش و دیگه بعد روش بهشون تلفن کنی کال می دیگه شما رو تلفنشون هم اگه می خواهی بهت می دم I lost my phone, I lost my key I'm just so, so call me you know, اگه interest هستی let me know just, then I go off to you but so for those that don't know <laughs> for over a year <laughs> this woman has been leaving messages for Salome on this Persian woman has been leaving messages for Salome on Christina's phone that because she got a new number about a year and change ago yeah and there's always aggressive cursing <laughs> farsi and some broken english yeah every time people write in our, our our farsi speaking listeners translate for us yeah but she had been gone for so long we assumed M- months yeah. i mean i i know the last salon i know the last we heard that there were squirrels in the trees and she's putting plastic bags in the trees to get rid of the squirrel and it worked and that was, I think, when we moved here. So that was almost... <laughs> I wanted to know what that Farsi lady's been saying. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing part of these messages that Christina keeps getting nonstop on her phone to me are that the person who's <laughs> leaving them never hears back never. from whoever she's contacting. <laughs> whoever you're contacting <laughs> hates you. Like, how about you just stop? You guys aren't friends. No. There's, there's no love there. Salome. It's crazy. Salome. I assume you heard my message. I called today. A different number than you texted from. 
That's Brian Day's. Such Thank a you. good song. That is. And I thought we'd never hear f- uh, from the Salome thing again. Now, if you hear, I don't I don't speak Farsi, but she does say in English, I lost my phone. Yeah. Now, that could be a key component here and why we haven't heard from her in so long. Could be. But I'm glad she's back. Well, she has your number saved. She's you know a- that. <laughs> she wrote that one down. She has it in her old uh, contact book that they re-put into her new iPhone or whatever. Yeah. So anyone speaking Farsi, if you could translate that one, let us know what's up with her. And if she says her name, who are you? She never says her name. I don't even know what to call her. Yeah, it's it's really crazy. But it brought so much joy back into my heart knowing that the Salome lady is back in town. That's a lot. I was actually just thinking about her a week prior. Like, oh, I wish I could get another voicemail from Salome lady. It's been so long. I know. We just thought we figured it was gone. Yeah. I mean, you had a, every. We all had good reason to believe it was gone. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been right. since we moved here in November. I she think. was uh, leaving messages to <laughs> cover your lemon, your your citrus, and in, in mm-hmm. plastic bags. We had that one time. That just fell out. Yeah, I know because yeah. the, the squirrels were eating yeah. the citrus, and if you cover it in the bags, they don't they don't eat it. Yeah, so silly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, do you want to maybe? Is it time? I mean, it can. Be. Is it time? It can Do be. it. Let's hit it. I want all the sound effects. I want chips in a bowl. I want a cat eating kibble. And I want right. a brand new sound effect for this announcement. Okay. This is a huge announcement. Here we go. We'll get and started. And explosions. Okay. <laughs> sound effect one. Now, that usually means big announcement. Chips in a bowl. Okay. That's a big <laughs> announcement. That's my favorite. That's a cat eating kibble. That's right. That's my. That's a. It's the cutest sound. It's such a cute sound. That means even bigger. Even bigger. (laughs) And yes. Now we go through the regular big announcements. (laughs) And now to cap it off. To make it even the biggest of all announcements, a new sound effect. (laughs) It's uh, utensils clinking against glass. (laughs) This must be major news. Major news. And it is, Tom. It is. Please share with the audience well, last year you know i came out as a bisexual yeah. and this year i'm proud yeah. to announce yeah. i'm falling in by but uh, on a real note you guys remember i taped my stand-up special la- uh, in june in meat rattle and i am proud to announce i am proud to announce that it will debut on netflix That's right, guys. Get it ready. Put it put it on your list. October 10th. Cue it up. Cue it up. Christina P., Mother Inferior, is the name of the special, and you can search for it starting this Friday, and you can put it in your queue, in your list of stuff you want to watch, and it debuts on the 10th of October, and you can watch it there. I'm excited. Very excited. Very oh, excited. Man. Long time coming, Gene. Long time listener, first time caller. I'm very excited for you. Ah, uh, it's been it's been a, a road, and I'm so I'm so excited for you guys to see it. And uh, this was filmed in front of mommies. This yeah, it was, was a mommy exclusive <laughs> audience. That's a new thing <laughs> for the moms. And just so you know, there's a lot of shout outs. Yeah. Uh, not a lot, but there are shout outs in my special yep. to your mom's house listeners. So it's a tribute to the mommies, if you will. Too. It's really exciting. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Couldn't be and, happier for you. And I too. called it Mother Inferior also as a shout out to the mommies. Yeah. So it's, it's, your mom's uh, house. it's super your mom's house centric. Yes. Yeah. It's a really great hour. I watched it live twice. You, you bring me up. And that's I did bring you up. Your yeah. voice. You'll hear it in the opening yep. of the special. It's I left. A lot of money at. 
I I left it in that your my gene is bringing me up. That's yeah. how special that was. That was exciting. So, October tenth, you guys get ready, get ready, get ready. I can't motherfucking wait. I can't wait either. So excited, so happy amazed. For you, Jean. Are we gonna um, watch it every night before we go to bed together? Of course. <laughs> there I am. Throw it in our rotation of my stand up <laughs> specials. And... Well, that's what I do every night. Yeah. I watch mostly stories, completely normal. Yep. <sighs> good night. Yep. And then I kiss you good night and I pet the dogs. Yeah, yeah. And I, I even have a little video of things I put on YouTube and I watch all those together. <laughs> Just of yourself? Of myself, yeah. Oh, could you imagine? I'm sure <coughs> there are people that do that. There's definitely people that do that. That's crazy. 100% people that do that. Um, speaking of Patois, yes. this, there, this is a real Jamaican guy, and he's blown away that an Asian man <laughs> is in his store and speaks Patois. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh. So I'm going, no work, yeah? Huh? And Chinaman come pick up your money. But Chinaman oh. said, me did on some long thing, and me not give me money. But me did have oh, enough yeah. customer for beer. So Chinaman come and tell me about my rotted. So, but my rotted. Listen, a man. Oh, what, my tiny one? You want me, the money? Me, me money didn't come in, man. You want the money, China man? You want the money? Yeah, man. You want the money? No. Yeah, man. Me want, me owe me money. You get All me? of your money you want? <laughs> yeah, no. man. You get me? That is weird, right? Yeah, it's There's jarring. certain, like, faces. To put an accent on it, you just go like, that doesn't add up. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty open-minded and I don't feel weird. Do you feel weird? Like, what do you what do you think you normally should hear? Uh, just different stuff. I mean, <laughs> no, but like, it's true. Like, when you see, huh? whenever you see, like, gingers in speaking Spanish, I always am like, oh, that's interesting. Like, you just don't assume that a ginger speaks just Spanish. Just because their red hair makes them yeah. not intelligent? Or, no, no. Oh. Just that like the language isn't usually associated <laughs> with the way they look. No, I, I know. I'm just kidding. You it's know, like and, an Irish person speaking Chinese. You're like, wait, what? Yeah, like Canelo uh, Alvarez, the boxer, he's just this redhead white guy and you know he's Mexican, so he speaks just Spanish. His English is terrible. <laughs> and when I would study abroad... Like, I remember there was, you know, there's redheads. And you're like, you speak Spanish? And they're like, yeah, I was born here. And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you guys are everywhere. Remember that time we saw that white guy totally spit in Chinese? That's the, that's the that most, was crazy. Dude. That's the wildest of all. When white people <laughs> are fluent in any Asian language, it's, yeah. and it usually, by the way, blows Asian people's minds. Like, yeah. that's, like, when my sister spoke Mandarin yeah. at that dinner, do you remember that? Yeah, yes, of course, yeah. That guy was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's so hard. It's so hard. It is. Yeah. Well, it's such a foreign tongue. Like, I think that's why it's so bizarre. Like, yeah. I've never seen a white person speak, um, you know, Hindi. Have you? No, I mean, of course That would exists, blow my mind, too. Yeah. Of course it exists, but, like, you just don't. You don't assume it. Yeah. I remember being in a museum, probably in Paris, and, there, you know, they have the tour groups. Yeah. And there was a Japanese tour group led by a white woman, and she was stopping at every painting with this Japanese group. Just ripping through Japanese, you know, <laughs> with all the little uh, mannerisms. How do they do it? I'm a Ebby. And they were all like, oh. Unagi. Oh. oh, oh, oh. So a lot of like, there's a lot of, oh. oh. Van Gogh. <laughs> that sounded good. Yeah. Oh, me money. So where you come from? Me? Yeah, where you come from? Me come from Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah, man. <laughs> me, me born in Vietnam. Born in Vietnam. Me born in Vietnam. So why you speak your patois? Because a lot of me friends from patois and I have house in Barbados. I have house in Barbados. Yeah, man. Hmm. See, that's how you do it, man. Barbados. See, so Barbados, they talk this way too. It goes back to your Dr. Melanie. Yeah, yeah. Assumptions. Yeah. You, love, you love black girl? Uh, he, me not mind it. I well, like big body. Yeah, man. Sometimes, yeah. He took. He hesitated. He had the he, nerve to hesitate on that question. This, what happened was he was honest in that question. Yeah, and he should have lied. He was like, "You yeah, like black girls?" And I he love was like, him. He was like, uh, "I can tolerate it." Yeah, but you live in I Jamaica. Know, you should love black girls. Or you, you should go back sell to that. He should have been yeah. like, "Fuck yeah, I love." Of black course, girls. that's what I'm saying. Stupid, stupid ass. Stupid ass. So stupid, huh? Go back to Saigon, motherfucker. <laughs> from around here. You Danang, motherfucker. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, shit. You ain't shit. Um, speaking of coming hard. Oh my God. Nobody said that. We didn't say that? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Rough. Rough. No. Rough. You know what we found? No. 
We found no. early footage of her. No. Yeah. No. Early footage. No. 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 Do you want to see his early footage? No. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Please don't. Massage your kidney and gradually feel the jing in the kidney change into qi. Okay? And feel the kidney have a connection down to the testicle. <laughs> he has been oh, gee. jerking his dick yeah. <laughs> for 40 years well, what, giving instructions. Well, what did I tell you my theory was? He's is a big that perv. He's just a pervert. He's been talking about his balls since the 70s. It's yeah. evidenced here. And he wants to talk about his cock and balls all day and make a living at it. And yeah. now, now he does. Good for him. Now, when lady, when you reverse, feel your nipple connect to the back here. It doesn't connect to the back And after here. that, from the back, make a line down to the no, kidney. It doesn't. Massage the kidney for a while. <laughs> massage. Uh -huh. Massage the kidney. Man, when you finish <laughs> the kidney, uh -huh. massage the testicle. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Testicle is an incredible factory producing a lot of sexual energy. Yeah. Okay. Right. And the biggest waste in a human is the ejaculation demo out. Oh boy. See, yeah, he was a perv since then. He's and always like, play with your nuts. Yeah. Play with your yeah. nuts and jack your dick three hundred and fifty yeah. times a day. <laughs> and then you'll be better. Yeah. yeah. And especially if you're not circumstances, you gotta yeah. do this even more. That's true. Now that God. I hear him speaking back then, he should know he should know <laughs> circumcision by now. <laughs> it's this been is old school. I know I'm saying it's been thirty years. He should know circumcision. Like I thought he circumstances. Just, yeah. He's like, if you're not circumstances. <laughs> you don't want you cannot you don't know how to transform them. So massage the testicles. Jesus Christ. Oh he's just he looks like a nuts. monkey, yeah. You feel it. Feel Does something it like? are changing inside you. It's really something content. <laughs> at home, you know, you do at home sometimes you can watch T V and do that. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's been a pervert his whole life. What did I tell you? This supports my theory it that does, he's been does. a jerk his whole life doing this stuff, embarrassing himself, and, and, and making audiences uncomfortable. And now look. And hold the, hold the whole testicle and massage the lower abdominal. So feel the, uh, the jing chain into chi. Man massage 36 times. <gasps> chain the hand. Reverse the counterclockwise. Uh -huh. 36. So he he upped it. Of course, he's been jerking his dick that long. <laughs> yeah. He's built the tolerance. Through your nipple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's been jerking his dick forever, man. Dude, that's crazy. <sighs> My theory's right. I knew it. He's just been a pervert since the beginning. Yeah. Rop, rop, rop. See, and then it turned into that. It started with just massage your tes testicle, yeah. and now... 50, 50. 50. Fitty. He nasty. Fitty. And pull the glands, penis. Yeah. Uh, He's got. He always wants to do is just nut <laughs> all day. <laughs> nut. Yeah. That is so silly. That's all he wants to do. He nasty. Nasty as hell. He is. <laughs> you think he's married? Who's um, Mrs. Rub Rub? I think he's been married. Yeah. I think he's done been married. And then. I think he's been through a few. She caught him sharpening his knife a few many too many times. Yeah. She's like, Are you are we ever gonna do it? He's like, Wow, no. sharpening my knife. Make it sharp. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's been I think he's been dropping that that load everywhere. <laughs> do you think he's just really he really is just into sharpening his own Oh for sure. Knife, yeah. Then sexual energy and yeah. Yeah. Just a horny guy. That. Yeah, yeah. I think he just wants it all the time. Oh, that's so gross. Would so, you kiss him? No. Like a nice soft kiss. No. <laughs> Why? Babe, stop. Kiss him. Would you would you make out with him? Would you kiss his rub rubs? I don't think it'd be very nice. <laughs> would you rather make sweet love to him eighties rub rub or present day rub rub guy? Um Think about it. I want you to think about it because I think present day. I think present day. Why? Uh, he's just so much more experienced. But it's like musicians where you're like, I like their early stuff because they're so nah. raw. No, nah, I like I like him now. I like him now. You like the technique refined. Yeah. <laughs> he would know so much. He would just school me now. Back then he'd be like, play with your balls. I'm like, I already do that. Yeah, 36 times. I already do that. Yeah, that's nothing new. But now he'd be like, pull that circumstances back <laughs> and let me do it really for you. Yeah. Ugh, you guys are gross. I know. Uh, can I tell you what happened yesterday? Sure. You were laying in bed, sick. And I went out to the front yard, and I found a dead rat. You did? Now, 
We've been laying out rat traps to catch these assholes that have been shitting in my kitchen. We're telling you guys about it. Yeah, I mean, look, they can live outside. That's fine. But then when you come to my house, you shit yeah. on my floor. It's a problem. I said, fuck you, right? Yeah, yeah you said you can't so have our remote We're in the same shit. Yeah. I got on. You know what the key was, though? We set out all these traps and everything. The guy that came over to our house showed me that under, <laughs> under a sink in the kitchen... Uh, where the pipe comes in. I might have already said this, but if I didn't, there's like where the pipe comes in, there's also a space Tiny. where the pipe meets the wall. God damn it. And it's bigger than the space needed for the pipe to fit through the wall. Mm -hmm. So I got that insulation foam yep. and sprayed it in there. Yep. So there's no weight. And we never saw them again after that. Rat lock. And, uh, and just so you know, rats, the guy showed us Oh, he goes, yeah. they need an opening this big. And I'm holding up my finger. It's maybe the size of a dime. Yeah. No, no, a sorry, nickel, a nickel. A yeah. nickel. Yeah. And as, as long as their head can get through the hole, he said they can squish their shitty little bodies into your house. Yeah. So when you think about it, they find an opening that big, big, not hard to do. Yeah. So these assholes come in your house and they poop all over your stuff. Ugh. It was so nasty. So when I found that rat yesterday, I was thrilled. And I put on some latex gloves and I double bagged it. And, you know, but I was I was surprised actually at how happy I was to catch a dead rat. I was you were talking about it a lot. A lot. I took a photo. I sent it to you. I texted it to the guy that helped us set the rat traps outside, and I kind of got worried because I was like, the only thing that could have made me happier is if we set up hidden cameras and I could watch it die. Listen to yourself. I know. I worry because I was really thrilled because I feel like he did us wrong. Who's the psycho killer in this I know. house? I, I thought know. it was me. I know. I don't think I'm it a, is. I'm a little worried how thrilled I was to find it dead. Yeah, you were. Well, well just because it's a threat to my my young. Yeah. A threat to my home, to the cleanliness of our house. I just, it's so the only people poop in our house should be Segura's. Period. Yeah. You, little jeans, and me. Three yeah. people who poop under this roof. That's it. And guests, guests are a lot of poop. And the nanny. But you people know. that come over can shit. The plumber. <laughs> plumber <laughs> took a lot of leeway on that. Yeah. Then you get electricians. Yeah. Gene, Gene, I'm gonna take a dump in here. <laughs> I can't believe he brought his nasty morning dump to our house. Yeah, what a jerk! Jerk. It was like jerks. nine too. Yeah. Come on, now you should have taken that shit early. Anyway, that happened, and then um, the other last week we were having breakfast, and uh, as we do, we have our coffee, and then we eat breakfast. And you had to take a dump in the middle of breakfast, like you felt the yeah. the tug, like you had to go. And what I think is interesting about you is that when you feel the need to shit, you keep eating. Yeah. You eat through the pain of having to take a shit. Depends. Depends on how good the meal looks and how <laughs> bad I have to shit. If it's a mediocre meal, I'll be like, I'll just shit later. But if it's like, wow. if I go like, this is going to be an awesome meal, you know, then I'll go shit now. No, you mean if it's a, wait. If it's an awesome meal, you'll go shit now and then come back and eat it cold? No, I'm saying like if I walk into a place and I order food and then they're like, food's on the way. Oh. I, I'm like, I have to take a shit. And I'm like, <laughs> this is going to be an amazing meal. Oh. I'll go clear the chamber to really enjoy the meal. Oh, no, I'm talking about the food's already in front of you. Oh. We're, we're in the process of eating. This happened last week. I don't oh, know if you remember. I, like, I got to take a shit? Yeah, we were eating already. How urgently, though? There's so many levels. <laughs> but for me, for instance, I know, like, hey, I have to go. The need to go is kind of not making this meal enjoyable. So I'm going to get up, go take a dump, come back, eat my food cold. But at least, at least I don't have to shit. No, nah, I don't think like that. Yeah, so you walk me through your logic because I, uh, I, I just, just don't think I don't can't sit there... And then eat and feel like First I have to all, shit. First of all, there's like, there's like I could take a shit and I have to shit. <laughs> Those are different. Could and have to. Yeah, if I go, right. yeah, I could take a shit right now. <laughs> I could eat this right now. But if like if I go, I have to shit right now. I'll still go. <laughs> it just depends, you know. So you're telling me it's just it's just the level of severity. Yeah. 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 How how severe? And again, how good this meal's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> If it's like really enjoyable, I'd rather not have that feeling of having to shit. Yeah. You know? Interesting. Yeah. Should we, I think we should pause. I think our guest's going to be here any moment. Press pause. Let's press pause. And then, <laughs> well, ask him what he does. Yeah, yeah. It's a great thing to bring up when he gets here. <laughs> we'll be back very soon. 
And we're back with Big Dumb uh. Goofy <laughs> Retard. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Jeez. Jeez. I know. Wow. That's such that was, a mean way to introduce that someone. Goodness. That so intense. I know. No, oh, I, I love him. I Tom's love him. Tom's under the weather, so. We're here. I'm under the weather. We're Sick. here with, uh, you'll, oh, you don't even know. Oh, my God. Don't even tell her. So, you know, <laughs> fighters have nicknames. Yeah. Right? So, it's like Iron Mike Tyson. Yeah. Do you know what his nickname is as a fighter? Brendan the Jeans. Nope. Job. <laughs> this is so exciting. I cannot tell you how excited. <laughs> so it just exciting. hit me. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Tell her your nickname as a fighter. Big Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think I saw somebody write that. Yeah, I got it from SMA. Brian. It's because he took like the biggest shits in all of the UFC history <laughs> ever. That's me yeah. and Kane Velasquez. We had to battle over that name. So, did you guys when you're because there's all these stories about like uh, I don't know if you remember when when Phelps Michael Phelps was training. Yeah, that he was eating like twelve thousand calories a day. Yeah. Um, did you have like heavy intake when you're training or no? <laughs> heavy intake. Like, did you eat calorically a lot? No, not really. I've never been that like a huge eater. I, I'd say <laughs> I'm more in tune with my diet now that I retired. That I'm in show business than when yeah. I was fighting. Really? Because again, when you're fighting, you can kind of eat whatever you want because you're going to burn it off. Yeah. That's what they say. Right. You know, but... Isn't that crazy? I wasn't that like don't? shredded, but I, I was I like, know. I worked out nonstop, but I wasn't like. You know, the biggest GQ thing model. for that, if like you, if you follow football, you think about like those two a days, and then you're like, wait, how are guys still fat? You know, because <laughs> like you, I'm serious, like you would go, you you think about like how much you're moving and burning in in like in like a summer camp. But that's five football. weeks. That's only five weeks I of guess your life. So. I and guess. Then after that, it's like normal shit and yeah, then but, also but guys stay so fat a lot of it's thing. genetics that's that's uh, a big part of it i too. think it's eating <laughs> but <laughs> they eat so much yeah that's the thing because so i i used to do kung fu in the park when i was 28 years old uh -huh. and i would burn so many <laughs> calories but then i'd go eat a bean and cheese burrito yeah. and some and two talks and then i was still fucking fat my mentality has always been like I would do like an hour workout with a trainer and then be like, I guess I could eat like 15,000 calories. <laughs> then I'm good. Yeah. Then, yeah, like, that's then I'm good. good. Yeah. Sometimes you are. Sometimes, Sometimes you are. Yes. But I, I would. I've never been so, that. I've never been so self conscious of my diet till I started doing comedy. Like, like really? you know, really? whenever I'm at the comedy store, when I'm backstage, yeah, I, I usually like spread my legs so I'm not as tall. I'm usually super self conscious of what I wear because I don't want to look that big. Oh, that's oh interesting. I see. That's interesting. You feel you feel self-conscious. You really think about what you're yeah. wearing. Oh, oh what? In, in the in terms of uh, what the that you don't want to appear like the uh, like too much of like a stud. Yeah, well, you don't want to appear too big. Like I'm not going to go on there with like a Under Armour tight, yeah. you know, compressed shirt. Like, yeah, that's not cool. Well, that's lame. Right. That's for it's anybody. Lame. Yeah, it's yeah. super lame. It's also like it's funny with comedy. If you have a physical attribute that is like a blessing, you almost want to disguise it. Like yeah. super muscular True. guys shouldn't try to show the muscles. Well, super and you know? super attractive girls. Like you I'm sure you dress down, tits. right? Like oh, you're not gonna have your titties out or oh. your ass hanging and out. And can I tell head. you something? I have huge tits. Like huge tits. I would I've, never guess. That's right. No, I And I they're, cover they're it. There. They're there. They're there. You yep. know that. And Wait, I cover geez? them up. I'm fucking like quadrupled above a quadruple D. I'm a thirty two like F. I'm not yeah. exaggerating. God damn, girl. And nobody would know it because I, I hover them. And Phyllis Stiller too had huge tits. Did you know that? Do you like big tits? Yeah. 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 Go see Christina do a stand up. Thank you. Now we're talking. It's my, my oh, mother-in-law. Oh, mom. wow. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but I've had women in the past tell me, you should show them off. And I'm like, no one's no. going to listen to me. That's, That's not funny. It's distracting. Exactly. Yes. It's going to yeah. take away from your actual talent. Right. And it's now, like, yes. yeah, if you see like I agree. long legs with heels and stuff, you're like, I'm, People aren't listening to what you're saying. They're looking at your figure. They're not going to take know? you serious. Yeah. And they're going to be like, is your vagina stinky? Yeah. Does your they might. Stink? Yeah. <laughs> they might. Like, you know. Well, for and also when I first started doing it, I think Rogan was going to tell me this. He's like, you don't want to show your tattoos. It's distracting. So I'm like, damn, really? He's yeah. like, yeah. But if I do, so like I'm in uh, San Francisco this, this week, if I'm, so that's my crap. They all know I have tattoos. It's different. But if I'm at the comedy store or Laugh True. Factory or improv, I cover my tattoos That's up. That's interesting. I, I think yeah. there's a there's a lot to be said for that. I noticed for years now, when I would tour with Joe and uh, he'd do big shows or even when he would shoot, he would wear like baggy long sleeve shirts. Always. Always. Never like showing that he's in shape, never showing the tattoos. Hmm. 
Hmm. Because and you're like, oh yeah, it just looks like a black shirt. Like you just don't even you don't, you think, don't think, about think about it. You listen to what he says. Exactly. Um, That's interesting, but I've never heard it from a male perspective because I've only ever heard it dealt with it as a female in comedy. But I yeah. guess guys struggle too. For sure. And, well, I'm and, I'm yeah. already in. I don't mean to interrupt. No, you. I'm no. already into like I'm way too into fashion. Where if you guys didn't know I was engaged, I'm like oh he's gay as shit. Yeah. Because I'm super into fashion. <laughs> so. Oh no, I, everybody thinks you're gay. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's pretty. Yeah. That's a fair point. But um, I'm super, super into fashion. Super into fashion where I'll pick out my outfit. Like I have my outfit picked out for Thursday night's show already. I have my wow. outfit picked out for next Friday's show already. Yeah. And now you I like it. You I suck do it. Dick too. You say- <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> do you pick out your own outfits or do you have a stylist? <laughs> if you look and I'm liking. Uh, <laughs> no. Like I. I You have swag. Dude. I hired swag. a stylist for one for like one time when I was doing this thing on E. And like we had talked back and forth, and I was like, "What? You don't know what the fuck? Like, I know yeah. what's in. Like, you're yeah. so old school, lady. You know, yeah. like she. It, what works for Jared Leto isn't gonna work for me. We got Should, someone for you though, if you want. If you want to try someone else. Oh yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. We got someone for he him. He does all the stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Dude, the dude's it's tight. You like it? Like you hired him for your special endeavor? I mean, maybe what? I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Doug? What's up, Doug? I sent the bill yeah. to my manager, and they were like, "Oh my god, yeah, what are you wearing?" I was like, "No, nah, no, nah. he gave me a bunch of shit, like a bunch." Of, but sometimes yeah. it's good because let's say they give you some crazy Gucci jacket, yeah, you, yeah. You yeah. T- and you do a special with that, or you do yeah. an yeah, event yeah. with that. Yeah. Well, you got to give it back to them, so you probably shouldn't pay for that because you can't rock that thing again. It's tough to rock that again. Yeah, I mean, like you, she has, she just shot a special, and before you We're got at- here. Well, we just she shot it in Seattle, but we just announced that it's airing uh, on Netflix, on Netflix. Oh, October ten. Thanks, 10. bro. What's up? That's yeah. what's up. Big but time. She has a a, a a very fashionable Christian Dior a Dior dress. Couture. Couture. I can't had to hide again. these tits because yeah, you can't wear it again. Well, yeah, I can't yeah. wear it again. But then again, I have it in my closet. Is like, oh, that's my special. It's my first special dress. So, but it's, but it's tailored. Like you can't. It's like give, a wedding. No, it's it's, it's like but for when, uh, your body. It's yeah. tailored perfectly. I had to camouflage. I had to mask my big tits, and you know what I mean. You can, you can give it to just... our you can give it to our son to wear in school, <laughs> like when he's if you have a daughter. No, man. when he switches pronouns, <laughs> <laughs> give it to him. It'd be a nightmare. Yeah. We act like we're, everyone's all cool. That <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> yeah, nightmare. I'm so glad you said that because I think it's true that like while as open minded as people are, at What's the end of the day, you would be like, what? I'm open minded as shit. I love yeah, everyone. Right. You ever seen I Am Kate on TLC? No. Or it's a it's no. a 12 year old girl who's born a boy yeah. but uh-huh. she's going through the whole bottom surgery and she's in high oh. school and going on blind oh, dates man. and shit and i looked at my girl and went and it, our son's <laughs> name is tiger and went look at tiger in 10 years she went the fuck he is <laughs> i went can you imagine and uh, she i was like you'd still love him of and i was course, like of course nightmare it, yeah. but it would suck let's not, at least like let's, <laughs> let's not act like it wouldn't like you would we would all love our children Regardless, but uh, it's not like that. That going through that would be fun. It's <laughs> like, painful. But ju- just and just as like a man, if my son was like, "Yo, Dad, I'm gay as fuck. Yeah. And I'm a power bottom, bro." Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> ah, fuck. Yeah. Like, it's gonna take a little. It's gonna take a little while to get used to yeah, it. Yeah, Like I can't just be like, "Oh, cool, man, suck yeah. that dick, do your yeah, thing." Of course. Like I'm like, damn, there goes kind of normal life. Yeah, you that's could, I mean, fair. You would adapt to whatever became yeah, your sure. new normal. You know, I'm still gonna love him, but it's gonna take like with yeah. Caitlyn Jenner. I like, like his language with he, with you though. He's like, I'm power bottom as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm dad. power bottom, dad. <laughs> dad. That's like a mean dick. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like it would take a little bit. Like with the Caitlyn Jenner thing, like everyone's like, you just gotta accept her. I'm like. I get that. Yeah. But I've known her or him as Bruce Jenner. That's right. Like, give me a fucking week a second, to sit on. That's fair. I agree. Yeah, what's wrong with even having the reaction of like, whoa, what? Like, that? even that reaction is considered, oh, you're hateful. Like, no, dude, like, I'm nah, just confused. Man. I'm like, just, for, for my entire life, <laughs> yeah. I'm just not used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't that yeah. wild, dude? Do you know that, like, so you don't know his story, really. But he was a. Uh, I was born a woman. Born a woman. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Became the first so female feminine. college football player. <laughs> then went into fighting, professional fighting. After all fought that. In the UFC. And then now he's not just a podcaster, but he started doing stand up. He's doing stand up. I know that. I've seen him at the comedy Isn't store. I've been on the though? same lineup uh, as him. And, and, I, and I'll say this I told Tom this when uh, I saw you guys run the lineup because I, we, we really haven't talked or met. But, and I sat in the same lineup. And that night, there was a guy on there who doesn't typically do stand up and he was doing 
horrible. And I'm again, I'm super self conscious of that stuff because you know there's some gimmick acts out there. Yeah. So he was going up there and just completely bombed. And you came back you're like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were like, God, what the? I mean, how the, how these guys get up? I'm like. Pfft. I had no idea, man. <laughs> I was so self conscious. I'm like, God, I hope she doesn't talk shit when I go out there. That's, you know what? No. That's how every comic thinks, though. Every comic who hears anyone say something in their head thinks, like, oh, shit, I wonder what they're going to think about me. Everyone. 100%. At every level. Well, yeah. I, and I'll say this, and this is why I'm a ride or die for Tom. Like, I'll kill someone for Tom because I did a set at the Laugh Act, and it, it was a bunch of comics there Dalia, Callan, Tom, everyone. You know, when you're first getting started, like it, you know, you guys know how it is. And I came up different. My path to this has been completely different. A lot of people's, for God's sakes. Sometimes I feel like Charlie Sheen doing Tiger Blood. Like, you, we have no idea. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was doing a set at the Laugh Factory, and then you, t Tom texted me after. I was like, hey, man, uh, you can do this. Like, dude, you can do this, man. And just that little bit of encouragement just fucking. I mean, see, skyrocket. Now, see, Tom takes the positive route. I do fear and hatred. You know what I mean? I'm like you. Yeah. I go negative so that I motivate you that way. Oh, but <laughs> with the, see, with the wrong two. But how would you motivate you? Like, uh, not for you, my man. <laughs> yeah. No. I what wouldn't. would you tell Brandon? No, I would uh, never. I would never discourage somebody trying. I, I discourage people who don't try. You know that when I, I hate don't try. I actually met Brendan. I was at a fight. He doesn't even know this, but probably. But I met him at a fight and I cheered against him. I cheered <laughs> because what I fight? <laughs> <He's so Yeah. laughs> I didn't know him. So I was going to these fights. Because I was I was I was touring with Joe with Rogan's tickets, yeah. But I was I was opening for him. Yeah, and uh, I think it was in uh, Vancouver, maybe. Oh, I thought Orlovsky. No, I think I, I thought you fought Mitrion at that. Oh, place. Mitrion, yes, yes, yes. So Toronto, but I don't know. It's Toronto. Okay, Toronto. I don't know any. I didn't. I didn't know anybody in the U.S. You know what I mean? Like I know some of the big names Casual sometimes, fan. but yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm I, I, you know I like football and stuff. So I'm sitting there and and Callen shows up. And he's like, my boy's fighting in this. And I was like, who's your boy? <laughs> and so we're like, it's like the weigh-ins, you know? And, I, and he, I, he's like, he's coming up, he's coming up. And then he goes, uh, and he's, he's telling me about like, this is what this guy does, this is what this guy. He goes, yeah, my boy is fighting this guy uh, that used to play college football. So then I go, you know, I'm like a big, I go, where, who, where? He goes, uh, he says Metreon. I go, Metreon. I go, where do you play ball? He goes, I thought he said LSU. <laughs> So I go, LSU? I go, that's my dog right there. <laughs> I go, I'm like, go Tigers, dude. Let's Bro, see I this. played for CU, he though. He never mentioned it. God he never mentioned it. it. So so then at the wins, I go, yo, man, like LSU's going to fuck you up. I'm like, yeah, LSU. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the fights, man, uh, it was amazing. I was sitting next to Callan. You would have thought it was Callan's seven-year-old son. Aww. fighting. I mean, yeah. he was like. Nervous as shit. He was so nervous. And like, he was like. Like uh, trying to get your attention, like every fucking five seconds. I was like, and I kept being like, "Your boy's gonna get fucked up," yeah. <laughs> like that to him. Just Cal never. was super thirsty for attention, dude. He was like, he wasn't listening to anything I was saying. He was so, so and you won that fight, yeah, and man. When you fight. won the fight, he fucking lost his mind. I what mean, like, nuts. yeah, dude. He he was he was like, it was like a father and son. What's what's in which he could be since he's that much older than you. One hundred percent, he yeah. could be my dad. Yeah, yeah. my best friend's about? fifty three. Man. He's, He's 68. 68. Oh, yeah, What's crazy about weird. that fight? That was like the kind of one of the first steps into me transitioning from speaking of Caitlyn Jenner, but me transitioning from uh, kind of that arena into entertainment through podcasting because, especially at the time, there's no Reebok deal. I don't want to get too much into that, but you could wear any sponsor you want. So I could wear, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, your guys' podcast shirt out. I could wear Reebok, Nike, whoever I want to. And so for that particular fight, I wore our podcast shirt, Abbott Kenny Fight Alex. Club podcast shirt. Oh, yeah. And so I turned down money from these companies to wear my own podcast. Nice. You were a big baller brand before big baller brand. Exactly. The UFC was like, you're an idiot. And I was yeah. like, that's fine. Let me wear my podcast shirt. <laughs> smart and guy. that's where it started to take That's off. crazy. Very it's smart. Cool. And podcasting cool. has exploded for you guys. Yeah, it's been good, man. Which you know, what's crazy, you know, a lot of fighters are trying to match up with comedians because they think that's what makes the fire in the kid, but it's not. No, it's your guys' you have, chemistry. Yeah, because yeah. you have two best friends talking. We don't really even talk about sports. We talk about live girls and yeah. whatever politics yeah. and current events. Well, but so yeah. you see a lot of people try and copy it, which is flattering. Yeah. But so they get some. Fighter who is better than me and some comic more famous than Callan. You go here, do a podcast, yeah. be a su success like those guys. 
It just doesn't, doesn't work. work. No. It's it lightning in a bottle. It's, it's chemistry, which you can't yeah. duplicate. Totally, man. I totally so agree. true. Yeah. And then and then we started doing live shows. That was Callan's idea. And then I left that old man in the dust, and here I am. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> huh? Can um, I ask you something since I don't know? Uh, I mean, okay, in, in UFC stuff, do, they, do you guys talk shit? Is it is it like boxing? For sure. The the lead up, like the yeah. ramp up, like the the Mayweather. Oh, 100%. I remember yeah. uh, even more so than boxing. Let's talk about the, it. How do you plan your shit talking? The uh, the at least the weigh in of that. Me you, and Mitrione. You guys were talking mad so, shit at that. So Matt and I were friends before the fight. Yeah. Way before we were on the Ultimate Fighter together, which yeah. is a reality show. We we're on that together, and we had a trainer before that. So me and Matt have always been bonded one way or another. Yeah. So when they called us to fight. Um, I got a text from my manager and I'm like, oh fuck, they want me to fight Matt. I want to fight Matt. And so I text him like, hey bro, I just got an offer to fight you in Toronto. And Matt's like, what? And he goes, oh, I just got the offer too. Mm. And I was like, well, we can't turn it down because you can't turn down fights. It's a bad look. Um, and I thought I matched up well with Matt and you know, got to eat. So um, I texted him. I just said, hey, I'm going to accept the fight. Let's sell the shit out of this thing. Let's just talk as much shit as we can. So there is that element. Most most of the time there's not, and uh, so I said let's talk as much shit as we can. Don't take anything personal. I'm gonna say some rude shit. And he yeah. put, got it. Have fun. See you the day of the fight. And I put, cool man. And so he starts talking shit to me on social media. Yeah. And he's like, you look like uh, you have down. You and uh, you you look like Adam Sandler and a Down syndrome mom had a kid. And I put, I put, and this is true. I put, yeah. Well, in a time he's going through a divorce. I put, yeah, that's not what your wife was saying when we had that meet and greet together. She was I fucking me. And then he just took offense to that and went, uh -oh. was like texting me like, how dare you? And then he got serious. And Whoa. then at the fights, it was dead serious. Yeah. Damn. Wow. And then how about after that? Uh, we're cool. Cool. cool, I, cool. Yeah. So I just did a, a commentating job for his biggest fight of his life. He fought Mass Square Garden against Fedor, and I was the commentator on it. How'd that so fight go? He won. He knocked him oh, out in cool, the first man. round in like 30 seconds. So wow. I saw him after. I mean, we're good. Well, he's been on my show a dozen times. Now, as a very, like I said, very casual fight fan, wasn't the, uh, Fedor like uh, un indestructible at some point? Uh, he's just older. So it'd be like it'd be like uh, uh, Terry Br Bradshaw playing for Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. all right, goddamn. But there I was guess. a moment, right? There was a moment where he was the best of all time. And people were like, this guy's like... Yeah, but then testing kicks in, competition gets yeah, better. Yeah. He's a little old school. You know what I'm saying? It's but like good for Mitrio. It's like you put Jim Brown at running back. Like, mm, yeah. wasn't he really good? Like, your fucking grip ago. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like that. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can are, I you, are you into football too? I, like I, don't, I know nothing, bro. I, I'm a woman. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't, I don't you know. You love that shit. football, man. I do he love football. Are you so crunk? It's here? I'm, I'm super excited, but, you know, I'm a big Seminole fan. And our quarterback's out for the season, game one, and then you go tough, tough opener. Fuck yeah, it was man. And th and there was and they caught some unlucky breaks. And I mean that game could have been a closer game, but I go tough, tough game. It's a tough game, yeah. It's a tough game to open with, but I I still go like ah oh, man, like if they, if he'd be if he was healthy coming out of that game, you know I still you'd be fine. A, oh definitely go to a great ball, make get into the playoffs. But with a backup in. It's gonna be Florida you know, State though. Like the the backup's gonna be a stud. He's a he's six five, one eighty five, mm, and their no O line too. is suspect. I mean that kid Trouble. Francois was getting hit like you would not believe. It's also Alabama. This though. guy I know, but this guy weighs one eighty five. About to get crumbled. He's I mean we're gonna have we're gonna have a tight end throwing the he's ball. He's about to be dealt with. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough, man. Can I continue asking Brennan my very sorry. important yeah, question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so theoretically these are your friends. That you're fighting with, correct? Like it's it's your mm. it's like it's like knowing a comic. It's like me texting I don't know Ari and being like, "Hey, dude, I'm gonna fucking beat your face in." Well, because it three kind of exists with roasts, right? Because you roast friends. That's those... true, but it's not physical. Like I'm saying, like yeah, but I've imagine... seen people like I saw Ralphie May get his feelings hurt. Yeah, I've heard yeah. about this, and that's that's happened. I mean, Ralphie's was highly publicized, but it's also happened on ones that don't air, where you hear about somebody getting real upset, like at in a the roast. back. Yeah, like p sometimes people are like the fuck, and you're like, Man. I've I've had comics that you know how when you play when you do like tag off where there's no host. Yeah. What do you call it? Tag yeah, tag team. Tag team. Tag team. Yeah. So when they have to introduce the next comic, I've had comics roast the fuck out of me before I get up there. Well, yeah. Well, you're, like, you're, you're, so what? I mean, uh, the, the thing about those roasts that's weird to me is when it's not friends. You like, don't know the person. I wouldn't mind being roasted by friends for sure i mean i'd sign up it'd for be it. funny yeah but yeah. like when you when 
I understand almost, I think when some of the people get upset at the roast, it's because they're getting roasted by people they don't know. Yeah, so they that's take it your, personal. And that's why it's... But also, who gets upset at a roast? I agree, but I think that's why they get upset. It's because they end up getting slammed by someone. They're like, who the fuck are you? Like, yeah. you, you shouldn't get upset, but you also shouldn't sign up for this. Because that Definitely dude doesn't not. know you, man. But I'm asking him the physicality yeah. of it. Like, how do you, like, you theoretically, you like the person that you're going to fight, right? So how kind do you want to be the It's not like I'm fighting out? Brian Callen. Like, like, me and Matt were friends, but we're friends through the business, you know? So it's oh, just okay. part of the game. Yeah. So would you fight a, a friend? Like, could could you even do it physically, I mean? Now, definitely not. When I was fighting, is almost, you know, even guys I didn't know I had a problem hurting. Like I'd always, right. every fight I've ever had, I always went to the back and like, yo, bro, you all right? Even if I lost, like, hey, man, you good? And like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, all right, just check. <laughs> what is it like? I, I always imagine. I was too nice to be like. Get the, that's what I'm saying. I was too saying. nice to be a world champion. Because you're kind of a gentle giant. I was way too nice to be. A, What's yeah. the anxiety like walking to the octagon? Oh, my God. The worst. It is, right? The worst. Because I, I imagine was it's terrified. like. terrified. What did, I mean, I did like you shit a lot? Diarrhea. No. Vomit. No, I had to pee nonstop. Never, never diarrhea. But always had, I was like, God, I got to pee so much because I, I drink fluids. And then for every fight, I spit, every, every fight, except for the last one, was a little different before I retired. Every fight, I'd be in the back going, what the fuck am I doing? Man? What am I doing <laughs> with my life? Like, I got to go out. You ever, you ever seen the movie Gladiator when they're about to go out and he's chained to that dude and he looks down and he's pissing his pants? Yeah. 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 It's just, it felt so barbaric. It is nuts. Now, how about this? Because I, I actually didn't know this until I was reading about you sometime. I was reading something that you were Golden Gloves. Yeah, I was a Golden Gloves champion. In boxing. Colorado? Yeah. But when did you start boxing? So I only started boxing to pursue the UFC to get to MMA. But so was it after it, it was it was so um, I started doing like like messing around boxing while I was in college in training camp. Uh-huh. I do it just stay in shape for football. Right. And then I was like, damn, I'm not bad. And then went to the NFL, had literally a cup of tea with the Buffalo Bills. They're like, We're all set on white guys. And then sent me back home. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, What the fuck am I gonna do? Yeah. And then uh, entered a jiu jitsu competition. Uh, won that and then and you, did, you had no jujitsu training i had like uh six months eight uh, months what? of training then i won that and then uh the guy i was training with that time shane carwin who's ufc heavyweight champion yeah he goes hey uh next week is golden gloves i went oh that's cool boring as shit but that's cool he's like oh i signed you up for it i'm like what he's like yeah you're in it man because i was sparring with him on and off and so he so signed- you took to do you think i mean you is it one of those things where you took to it naturally, boxing? Uh, some of it. I just outworked everyone, to be honest. Really? Like my Yeah, like I just, I wanted it more. Like, especially in like Golden Gloves, where I had like eight fights and I had, I had all eight stoppages. Nothing went to decision. So it was just like, I, it's just your, your heart, especially when you're starting out, like it, to have a big heart means so much. Wow. I also didn't have a lot of other options. So coming out, wait. It was like that or fucking teaching moms cardio kickboxing. (laughs) I got to make it here, man. Yeah, yeah, I was living with my brother. My truck was getting repoed. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? When you you graduated Colorado, right? Yeah. And then do you get like, you you have NFL hopes at that point. Oh my God, it's my dream, yeah. Yeah, so how does that, like, what's the process like? Like, there's obviously like, there's combine people and the draft. And then you're, do you get an agent and you're like, look, I mean. Yeah, like- you get an agent like right in between. So we went to a ball every year. We, I, let's see. Every year I play in the Big 12 championship. So you play in Big 12 championship and then you get to a ball game, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. In between that bowl game, uh, you usually talk to agents. You kind of have an idea. I had some coming my way. And they're like, yeah, you, maybe late round draft pick, free agent. We'll uh-huh. see. So then you watch the draft. Don't get picked up. Best friend gets drafted in the second round. I'm at his draft mm-hmm. party, brokenhearted. Yeah. And then um, – Nothing happens, and weeks later, like, hey, Buffalo, the, the Buffalo's gonna, you know, bring you in to to train. So what happens that when you get that call? I, mean, I was it like static. Yeah, you're just like fucking flying, right? Flying, but I knew it was a, still a long shot because they're just like, hey, someone got hurt. They need a body, basically. Yeah. If you're super gifted, you might make the team. So I remember flying down there, telling my family and friends, like, dude, I know how this game goes. The chance of me making this team are not fucking good. Don't get all crazy. And man. you're flying into Buffalo. Flying into Buffalo. And so I fly to Buffalo, get off the plane, go through like this weird little combine workout, and I'm there for not that long, a few days, and I injured my hamstring. No. But to, to me, it was like, it, it broke my heart right away, right? I'm a sensitive person, but I realized how much of a business it was. Yeah, it's such a Because I get yeah. there and like, 43, you're over there. I'm like, my name's Brendan. Like, what? Yeah. The fuck over there? I'm like, yeah, no yeah. doubt. And yeah. then it's just like, 
it was just such a business it broke my heart it was like you know your entire life you want to get to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory yeah. and you get in there and you're like god they treat these midgets and like it's, shit it's, <laughs> it's also right. crazy how like when you if you follow oh just like the NFL news ticker you know it'll be like big name guys and they're like released today and you're like he's released and it's like well it's this much he was going to owe against the cap so they just cut him to bring in a young guy and some other guy pay him, him up and then it, it really becomes like like it was just artificial. such a business, and you don't really yeah. think about that when you're a kid. You know, like you just think you're gonna get there, and it's gonna be all rainbows and Molly, and it's gonna be a good time. And yeah, it just man. was not the case. And that's why I was like, oh my god. And even towards senior year, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I don't play football the rest of my life. God. Like, I, like my my dream when I was a kid was to be on Saturday Night Live. Like, I was obsessed with Jim yeah. Carrey, Adam Sandler. Yeah, I was just gifted. I was just the big fast and you, kid. You had sex with a uh, retarded. Adam Sandler. Yeah, there you go. According uh, to Matt Mitchell. That's there you right. Go. Yeah, forgot it's the best about part that. Part of your dream. Yeah, yeah there you go, man. Yeah. Wait. So for me, it just it it, it was eye opening, and it was a good experience. It led me to where I'm at now. But yeah, you've had you've come like brutal. Crazy. Now, uh, do you remember in college you played like you said in these Big Twelve games? Do you remember playing against any big name players today? Name a big name. I mean, I played. I, don't remember. I played against. Uh, shit, man! I played uh, Oklahoma when they had Adrian Peterson, who won the Heisman against. And Jason White had the Heisman. Yeah, they beat us fifty to nothing in oh Kansas my City. God, I played against Vince Young when they uh, won the national championship against USC. Do you, do you remember? Be- some think the best college team of all time. <laughs> you played. Uh, they beat us. 70 to 3. Whoa. And I was on kickoff return. Oh. It was horrible. And I was going against this freak who made it to the NFL. And he, I mean, how many fucking kickoffs is that? Yeah. And he, every time, don't touch me, white boy. I'm like, bro, you guys are scoring a lot of points. I have to touch you. Like, it's football. I have to touch you, man. Don't touch me, fucking white boy. I'm like, dude, I'm just. That's what to- you get. See, that's the kind of shit I love that shit talking on the field. You know, don't touch me, white boy. Do you talk when you're fight when you were fighting uh, MMA stuff? Do you talk shit while you're fighting a dude, or no, are you fully you focused? Crying, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I got a lot. Yeah. Reverse racism. A <laughs> yeah. bit. Don't yeah. touch me, white boy. Yeah. Play University of Miami. It's all they said to me. Yeah. This shit should be easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, About to be a long day. That's what they tell. Oh, you. really? Yeah. Wait, you played Miami? Uh, you played at Miami. <laughs> At Miami, that is the epicenter of at shit talking. Miami and just hot as fuck. Sonor- yeah. Son- I think uh, Sonoris Moss. Yeah, it would caught this ball. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> we're in for a long day. Yeah. Just so freaks. you played tight end, uh, tight end, fullback, tight end, fullback, like H back. But I was uh, I was also on all the special teams. So oh my god, freaks, dude. man, freaks, right? Freaks, freaks. Um, so uh, do you remember? Is there like when you think back against like that Texas team in Oklahoma, just like, do you ever have those hits where you're like, oh, like this dude? Like, I'll, I'll I'll tell you. In high school, <laughs> I played against Heath Evans. Oh yeah, who played in the NFL for like ten years. For sure. And to this day, I've talked to friends of mine that were on those teams. We still remember what it was like to hit or be hit to by hit Heath because it was so different. Like he was such a beast that like even if you hit him in the backfield. Like your head shook and you're like, oh, yeah, it's like, like Jesus. Christ. Yeah, it was like a freight train took off. You know, it was like it was another level. So I don't know if like in those games, I mean, you're playing against all studs, but like all studs. some of those guys are even crazier. Right. Mm, I'm I'm trying to think there was like I see. I never because I was on uh, I was on offense, but I remember seeing Adrian Peterson. He was a freshman or sophomore and hand the ball off to him. And it was like tech mobile where you just keep hitting A and he's just fucking but, slinging guys. Yeah, yeah. And I remember him running just like, oh my God, how Such a how do people tackle him? Yeah. Like, what are we going to do? Yeah. They scored whatever 50 points in a row. And I was just like, I don't. How's he not We're done? Gonna, how's he not gonna be the best in the world? The longest, and he was. Those are the longest rides home, right? Like after those games. Well, I think the heartbreaking thing is like, especially when I the NFL, I saw Takeo Spikes. Yeah. He's a linebacker and he yeah. has literally traps from here to here. Yeah. He's as dark as his table. <laughs> yeah. And you're doing hitting drills and he had his shirt off, and I'm just like, oh, we don't even look like the same species. Like, what the how the fuck am I gonna make the team? And you're like a big dude. That's yeah. the not crazy shit part. compared. Like as as far as a, a UFC heavyweight or NFL player, I'm just I'm that average. part. See, I'm, I guess I've never seen a football player except for AJ when he came over to our house. AJ Hawk. Yes. He's a stud. There's the kill spikes. That's the kill spikes. Look at his neck. I mean, what are oh you gonna do? Oh my god, you're right. Look at it. What that are you do? It's wider than his. I face. didn't know you could have muscle here. Look, <laughs> That's the, the neck. The neck is wider than his whole <laughs> That's face. Bananas. 
Freak. This is problems for you. This is problems. Problems. <laughs> problems. This dude he, pissed off. He should have been like, go get a job, bitch. Like, this ain't for yeah. you. Yeah. Like, go get a job. Yeah. What are you doing, oh, white boy? And I'm like, you have. that's a great point. Now, one thing Christina and I are definitely interested in, we we bring this up as often as we can, <laughs> and we would really love... That's right. <laughs> How did you know I was going to go the there? Detectives. <laughs> the dick, the dick divers. The official dick divers. That's what I call Callan. We're the dick detectives. May I divers. ask some first questions? Yeah, preliminary. Sure. I even wrote it down. It's funny. You and I are on the same of wavelength. Course. It's chemistry, chemistry time. Oh, we're really talking about dicks? Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> All right. What's up, dog? What's well, up, dog? Now you speak my language. <laughs> Fuck these I freak bet, black athletes. I bet Takeo Spike's dick looks a lot like his neck. It's well, just well, let's fucking, back that thick. ass up. It's yeah. thick. I'll, it ta- I'll tell you about the biggest one I've ever seen. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. First of all, I'd like to ask the very important question. Whose balls were smellier, MMA fighters or football uh, players? That's such a weird Ooh. question. I say no, football. And apropos I, our opening uh, clip, I would I say know, foot. I'd say football because you got this big stinky lineman who don't really give a fuck about hygiene. <gasps> you know, hygiene. Oh. Now, my friend Josh Potter, we always have this conversation. Okay, <laughs> what's about, Josh do? Josh is a comic. Okay, and he he's from Buffalo, and oh, uh, he says, which position has the cleanest assholes in the NFL and the dirtiest? And cleanest to be center. Oh, see, he no, he disagrees. <laughs> he, he says that like quarterbacks have like an A one, like oh for sure, and that, pretty like, boys cor- and corners, pretty and, boys, like, wide receivers, receivers yeah. divas, just like diva, super clean assholes. <laughs> yeah, and that basically the argument comes down to O line and D line, yeah. and this is where we we've often had a heated debate. <laughs> I think that <laughs> sloppy ass, fat ass O linemen have to have the dirtiest assholes. He says it's D linemen, and part of his theory is that the the aggression, the chasing, yeah, if you will, uh, it's makes, science. It, uh, makes it's it a science. Wow. So wait, that guy we just saw the picture of, what's his position? He's a linebacker. And so what 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 is his ass I mean, and ball it, smell it, like? It depends. It depends. It's, it's, the linebacker's case to case. Yeah, yeah, it's case, case to, to case. case. I mean, is he a Mike? Is he a Will? You know. You know like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> is he a weak side? I mean, you know, it's strong like, side. Are they, weak side. A, are they running a three floor? Are they running a fourth? I don't know. You know, does he blitz all the time? It's just there's a lot of variables. Yeah, coverage linebacker. What are we talking about? I mean, here? this guy dropping back in zone. What's he doing? <laughs> wow. So. But <laughs> football humor. It's, so but it's silly. a lot of a lot of football asshole humor though. Don't yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. See, I think center because they know they know Someone's that asshole is gonna get played with. See, I played so center. if you have Tom Brady putting yeah. that those hands those golden hands yeah. underneath your rump, How, you would never disrespect that. No, that's Tom Brady, son. Yeah, he's probably like that shit clean today. You're yeah, like, yeah, of course. It's better or you can see, get cut. Yeah. May I see another photograph of that gentleman we were we were looking at earlier? I need to see the whole body in relation oh, so I can piece. guess. So this the dude. dick detectives, we like to guess. What the person's dick looks like. We're yeah. talking girth, length, balls. I got one for you. I played with a kid, and he, he was a stud in the NFL, too. His name's Lawrence Vickers. Why don't you guess his cock size? Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, it, let's look at photographs first. Jesus, look at the <sighs> okay. spikes. God. How tall is this guy? Probably 6'1". Meat and cheese. Was he weigh? Oh, 235, 240. Like Shredded. Just complete rock solid. Not an ounce of fat on him. Makes me look like Adele. Shredded. Now, yeah. normally I would go short, fat, coke can, a lot of girth. I'm gonna go long and lean on the painter. Ooh, of this I, guy. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, but extra long, extra long and lean, and then I'm gonna go high and tight on the balls. Here's two big ass dicks for you right here, <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Willis and oh Takeo Spice. Enormous. <laughs> Sitting on the bench. Two of the like, best uh, of all time, by the way. Two of the best who are basically like we're about to run a train. Both retired. Day. Yeah. Enormous painters, these guys. So your your prediction is that they're long lo- and lean. Long and lean, huh? Long mm. and lean. Mm. God, I, th- I don't. I haven't seen a lot of lean black dicks. <laughs> Usually thick, like veins. Yeah, yeah. Thickies. Big old thick dicks, right? Yeah, like I, like again. I, I had a guy <laughs> shared a locker with. Well, his locker was next to me. He's the captain on our team. His dick was so big. His name's Lawrence Vickers. You can look him up. His dick was so big he could grab it and talk into it like a mic. No. Stop yourself. I swear to God. He joke around be like, "Hey, how you doing?" Like literally grab it like a mic. Fattest dick I've ever Flaccid? seen. This is Lawrence from the Fifth Ward in Texas. And Vickers, Fla- Lawrence Vickers, not Iraq. Played for Cleveland Browns for a grip. Was our captain of the, our team. The biggest dick I've ever and, seen. But not Iraq. You're saying just flaccid. No, nah, I think it was normal. Right here. Wow. Yes, that's my boy. This guy. Jeez. You're right from Houston, Texas. Played for the Cowboys. What did he play? Running back? What is he? He was like an H-back, H-back? running back, fullback freak, man. Jesus. Great man. leader. 
fattest dick I've ever seen. Shout out to Lawrence Vickers wow. and your huge black dick. I wonder what are his balls like? Not bad either. Hmm. Is this him here? It's under the Lawrence Vickers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. Man. Who's got uh, who's bet, got the bigger dongs though? The MMA fighters or the the football players? <sighs> Tell you what, Rashad Evans packing heat. Really? Yeah. How about this? I just googled to Chaos Spike for some reason. This picture of uh, Broderick Bunkley came up. I bet he's got a fucking piece. <laughs> God, <laughs> dog, Bunkley, beef. I mean, he's looking at you like, you want to see a big dick? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you say big dick? Uh, <laughs> look at that guy. This dude. That's his weight? 306? No. And yeah, he, that's his weight. And he came in with like 7% body fat. Damn, bro. Freak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're not going to have a small dick and be that freaky all no, the time. man. It's no. just not the way it works. Well, man. see, Tom, that's not true, Tom. In the past, you've said that it, sometimes it's, it's you know, irrespective of the Well, I the made body, the point to her that she was just like, uh, tall guy, guys, big dick. Big dick and, no. and, and, short, and I go, some short guys have some big old dicks. Yeah, I've seen. Too. Yeah, Callan has one of the biggest dicks I've ever seen. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Callan has a fat dick. Rogan has a fat dick, too. Really? Yeah, I only hang Jeez. out with guys with fat dicks. Like, you got, you've, you've checked them out, though. Oh, yeah. I've seen them with my own eyes. What, at the gym or just like? Yeah, you know, hanging around. Yeah. First time I met Callan, we were taking a piss next to each other, and I looked over just to see what he's working with. Yeah. So he's talking so much shit. Yeah. I just had to see for myself. It's like <laughs> seeing a White Walker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I had to see it for myself. And you're like, oh, that's pretty impressive. I was like, oh, you're not lying, man. Because I didn't know if I could trust him or not. But he's thick? Thick and long. And long. Jeez. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Way. For Callan being 50, thick and long. Balls are long. On Callan. Grandfather balls. And Joe? Yeah. I yeah, just saw, you know, fat dick. Yeah. You didn't see the balls? Well, no. <laughs> Hopefully I educated you. The yeah. Dick Detectives. Now. I just wanted to say that uh, Lawrence Vickers and Takeo Spikes, you're welcome here anytime. Anytime you want to come by. <laughs> come uh, on by, boys. Come on by, guys. Anytime. Brendan, uh, I'm glad you're here today because this is the start of a brand new debate on your mom's house. Very hot topic. Oh. Uh, Tom and I were eating breakfast, and in the middle of the meal, he says, I have to take a shit. Mm, but then he okay. finishes eating okay. and then shits after. Now, me, on the other hand, if I'm eating and I have to shit, I get up, I leave, I take a shit, I come back, and I just eat my food cold. Where are you on this side of the debate? Well, I'm I'm with this. Um, and he gets, <laughs> Tom stare at me so serious. I'm serious with this. I keep it. I keep it sexy. If I take a shit, I just don't tell anyone. I just kind of disappear and then come back. But would you eat your entire meal? Would you finish your meal, or would you get no, up during no, the meal? No, I get up. Yeah, I don't want to be uncomfortable. So that's what I'm saying. It depends where I'm at, though. Am, am I at home? Am I yeah. eating with my girl at home? home? Am I at a nice restaurant? Do you fart in front of her? No. Wow. No. Keep it sexy, man. You gotta keep it sexy. How long have you been together? Five years. That's why. (laughs) She does the same? Oh, yeah. Can't be hip. Well, did you see her give birth? That up in here? What? Did you see her give birth? C section. Oh, so, but you didn't see. No, no, no. I tried to stay away from it. But there was like a little corner where I could see through. It was rough. Serious surgery. Uh, She's Mexican. Yeah, Mexican as fuck. Look at that dog over there, too. You know, the motherfucker come over here. Hopefully his owner ain't outside. You know what I'm saying? So I got to watch out what I'm doing. You know, I don't want the cops to call. come on here. But, you know, when you're Mexican, you know, Mexicans survive, do what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why we Mexicans. No He's his kid's tattooed on his chest. Yeah, of course. We doing something what I'm doing. That's what we do in Mexico, bro. See? Bro. You know what he's doing? What? He's taking his shit outside. Oh, wow. Say, hey guys. Good morning, guys. I'm here chilling. Taking a shit outside, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody's in the restroom. I ain't gonna shit my motherfucking pants. You know I mean shorts because I'm wearing shorts. You gonna shit his shorts? shorts? He's just working, you know, dog. So He's just in a myself. in a fucking regular, just outside. So Joey Diaz. That could be my son. That could be. That might be my son. In a few, twenty years, he makes this video. <laughs> hey pops, years. what's up, bro? Hey pops, what's up, man? <laughs> Told you I'm power Mexican bottom. Dog. I guess <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, that's him, man. He's I gotta take a shit. <laughs> that's him, man. That'd be a bummer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a motherfucking video to show you how mm. I'm doing. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Is so, is there anything you don't want your kid you to be? You like is there something you're just so you know? adamant on you don't want him to be? I can't think I know you know what I, I feel like it is? Whatever it is that you're like, oh God. Whenever you have that thought of like just so irritated by something. My, sometimes my mind goes, "That's what's gonna happen." That's yeah, what, that's you know what I mean. Yeah, Don't, like, and it's not necessarily like we're gonna be like, 
It's like when someone, like when it irritates you when someone's being indecisive. You're like, what are you going to do? And they're like, no, I don't know. Do you, yeah. My mind will go, that's what, that's what I'm going to get as payback. Or so if they're like, super yeah. negative. Yeah, that's yeah. If they, And obviously you can't help it. If they're like super like manic, depressive or something, that'd be a bummer. <laughs> that's a bummer. I just live in your basement, play video uh, games and not, shit. not going to do that. I don't want my kid to well, go I'll to, never I, never. I don't want him to go, uh, go in the military. Only because I don't want my baby to die in a war. Like that's, yeah. I just don't want that. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But what but about I'm, entertainment? Uh, oh god, it's a terrible. But if he, if he, if he's he got two entertainers to, as parents, that's a fucking problem. I think it might be like it's it's gonna go like extreme, one way or the other. It's either gonna be like I definitely want to do what you guys want to do, or mm. like what you guys the do exact is bullshit. Opposite. Yeah. I hope it's the opposite. <laughs> Me too. Accounting. I mean, like, stand up. I definitely hope he doesn't get no, into it. Not really? Soon. Yeah, no. man. It's not a career path no. that I would recommend to most people. You know, it's a lot of suffering. It's a lot of like <laughs> the grind is real. Yeah, it's yeah. really real, man. And like you actually got to come in at a point where like you have success in other aspects of your life to kind of hold you up as you do it. But like if you were twenty three, I can't imagine. I can't even relate to it. Like, I can relate to it as far you as can relate sports. to sports. Yeah, because I, I, I had I had a debate with one comic. They're like. While while you were out playing grab ass, I was on the grab road, ass. and I was yeah. like, "Well, I was getting punched okay. in the face." But yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, uh, also, like, I mean, I know you could. This this is kind of being negative, but like the probability of things even just like remotely working. Oh my out god, not, so low, no, not good, not yeah. in your favor. I mean, you have a better chance of graduating Harvard Law than yeah. getting a or Cause getting into a Harvard. Path. Well, because to get into Harvard. I can sit my son down and go, look, do this, this, and this, you're yeah. getting to Harvard. Yeah. If my son goes, hey, I want to be the next Tom Segura, I go, well, I guess try and do this. It might lead you here. And then you got to do this, and hopefully this works out. And, and then you got to nap no, more, and you got to yeah. eat more, and lay down <laughs> There's no, There's no- Farting like, harder. There's yeah. no blueprint. No, it, it, that's true. Not. That's one of the hardest things about showbiz. It's like you think, like, I should follow this person's path. And you're like, I don't it's know. Not Everyone's you. path is completely totally different. different. Yeah. yeah. Completely different. And then you got to stay relevant. Exactly. Are you enjoying, uh, like, you know, the? I mean, obviously, like you're having success. It's kind of wild, but <clears throat> like, is are you enjoying, you know, figuring it out? Best time of my life. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's been a complete blessing. Which is In the I'm, I'm not even religious, but uh, it's it's been crazy, man. It's been. I've always wanted to do this, and I think just figuring things out and making it work and being on the road and show business has been it's been amazing, man. Like I just had a. Uh, a meeting last week about you know a TV show for for something I've always wanted to do. Like what? I should a guy like a meathead like me shouldn't be taking these meetings. A but, scripted show? Uh, no. Like but, a host show? Uh, for because I do my my podcast Big Brown Breakdown. Yeah, be like that for TV. That's awesome. Nice. Man. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, be great. But just stuff like that. So your dreams are coming true, dude. Yeah. Or like like for me like when I. Because I live in Santa Monica, so when I drive down Sunset to do a set at the comedy store, it's like That's bananas, I get man. so excited, man. Yeah, I get so so excited, and like my biggest thing that I miss from sports was not the fighting, not playing the football games, but like the camaraderie, like with the guys, yeah. and like well now when I go to the comedy store, when I'm in the back, it's you, Bert, uh, Chris D'Elia, Rogan, Brian, like it's like fuck, it's here's, here's my guys, man. That's true, and like I feel safe. Yep. That's the nice part. That is I feel like, like the punter on the football team, but I feel safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like the punter. You're the like, I'm not guy. exactly yeah. part of the team. Yeah. Like, I'm the weird punter, but I, I feel safe. But, you know, with a few more Until years. Until I fuck up. Yeah. With a few more years, you'll be a long snapper. And then, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. With a field goal kick and yeah. slowly. Yeah, slowly wake up. So I'm that team. fat D lineman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that stinky with that ass. stinky ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um,. Uh, Gene. Yeah. <laughs> Gene. Do you? Yes, think, Gene. Um, I have this guy. Oh, Vocal Fry. Mm. You know about Vocal Fry? I don't. I kind of have it right now, but it's because I'm sick. But oh, we like, talk too much. No, it's like when people elongate their vocal. That's why I'm gonna talk like a Kardashian. Oh like my god, god. Like, that. like valley so, chicks. Yeah. yeah. So it's like we're always like, uh, you know, like we're kind of obsessed with. Uh, what is that? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's like it's not the way people really talk, you know. And Hi, thank you for joining us at Malakas. <laughs> oh my God! To educate you on mindfulness, meditation, and malas. Uh, my name uh, is Brett Fontaine, and in this mollusks. video series, I'm going to introduce you to meditation. See, the interesting thing about vocal fry that we did a lot of research and and we've been learning about <laughs> it's is science. that that's completely deliberate. 
She knows exactly what she's, she's doing. She's doing that. It's an affect. Uh, on purpose. Like, even if she's... It's almost an act. Yes. It's, it's a like, front. It's like, yeah. You're it's making, like the white kid who talks black. Yeah. You're making your voice do But that. it's a thing for upper class girls to sound more intelligent. Like the Nicole... They think that sounds intelligent? Yeah. And, and exclusive. I think maybe they... That maybe not intelligent. I think they... <clears throat> just cool. They think they, they sound him. more exclusive. Like, I'm yeah. in a... I like a so higher category. It. Yeah. Well, like, how, how else cool. would you talk? Well, I'm saying, like, I think that they're thinking, like, uh, oh, like, this is how Kim talks. Exactly. Yeah. Like, this is how super, Kylie talks. If you're yeah. super hot and you really like suck cocks with a little twist. <laughs> See, I like wow. that. All right. I'm in. Stupid. Do you suck on the first day? And it's also, <laughs> like, a lot of upspeak. A lot yeah, of them upspeak. do this, too. Like, it makes them sound smarter. But why smarter? I don't think it makes sense. Think I think it's supposed to be like a yeah. It's I think it's like a cool mimic. thing to do. That's why um, it's like yeah. the it's like the the kind of cliche thing to do right now. Yeah, it'll phase out. It'll phase I out. I hope so. Yeah. So the first thing that you want to do <laughs> yeah, when you're starting a meditation Whoa. practice is get a good comfortable seat. I'm comfortable sitting uh, up on a cushion. Oh my God, uh, hers is feet, outrageous. Uh, style, where one foot is in front of the other <laughs> in my vagina. Ankles. Crossed, your heels just sort of line up in front of each other. Okay. Oh my God! Well, yeah, you can't have that. Man. And what is, there, is there something for guys? Would they talk like that? No, guys just do talk like yes, that. No, there's actually a fighter. Fighter does that talks like that. Who? He was a world-class Muay Thai fighter. Place it up and under. No. Yes. Yeah. And however you need. And his is one of the worst cases we've ever seen. What? Yes. Yes. I only have audio of him, but I can pull. No, no guy recently though. Like, there's no guy on Instagram talking like this. Yeah. Listen, listen to this guy. Yeah. Megan and I have been together for nearly three years. Oh, She's a beautiful girl who this I'm very much movie. in love with and I have a lot in common with. I can't wait to get home and this jump the in the pool. TMZ. No, dude. And that's a real pool. dude. He, um, what's that show called? Uh, Polyamory. Oh, yeah. I watched that show. Married yeah. and Is that on Showtime? Yeah. yeah. Super yes. good, yeah. It yeah. was all right. The second third season got yeah. a little lame. The first like, one was classic. Yeah, it was great. And I like tall. And you know those dirty hippies that all live together? Yes. Oh, they were so nasty. It was so interesting. Though. Yeah. So I, used, I used to love... This is him. Oh, yes. I remember that guy. See? He had a gym, and his girl was hot. Yeah, he had his a girl was girls. a smoke show. It was Chris. all fun and games. Someone wanted to fuck his girl. <laughs> There was that show, and then did Show Showtime had Jigglos too, right? Yeah, yes. we were huge into that show too. What the fuck, some fellow Jigglos? Yeah. So yeah. check okay. this out. I saw Homeboy because I used to live in Venice, Which one? Marina. I saw Homeboy. Nick? Uh, no, Nick I wish Hawk? Nick follows me on Twitter. Oh. Yeah, Nick follows. Don't me. DM me, Nick. Yeah. Don't DM me. Yeah. But um, the bald guy, the one who's like actually. You know, I consider myself a feminist. A feminist? <gasps> yeah, he was the best one. The bald one. Yeah, uh, yeah, wait, yeah. for which show? He went down on every girl regardless. The black guy, wait. Vin. Oh, Vin. 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 Yeah. yeah. So I saw Vin with like a girl pushing a stroller by Starbucks, and you would have thought I saw fucking OJ Simpson. I went, oh, shit. And my girl's <laughs> like, my girl watched too. She goes, why? I went, it's Vin. And I go, bro, give it up. And he's like. Oh my God! You give it up, brother. And he's like, well, "Okay, man." Goes like that and just scurries off. Wow! Whoa. I don't ask anyone for any pictures. I would have yeah. got that picture. Yeah. He was with a girl with a stroller. Yes. Wow. Interesting. And, and like maybe his mom. I think maybe who, he keeps it on the DL. Is that? And who, when uh, I was like, "Yo, Vin, you gonna dick somebody down?" You know, like on <laughs> <yeah>. the pier. <laughs> and it was like too much. No. Uh, would you now? If you had to hook your lady up with somebody, like you're off at war and you're like, "I gotta get you a prostitute while you're gone," would it be Vin? And I'm hiring the Cowboys and Angels. Yeah. Um, no, I would hire the l the dude who was shredding super into yoga. Yeah, and he had long yeah. hair, long the hair. great body. A Angel, you know, he, he connects. Wait, he connects. What That's was right. his name? Angel. No. Come on, now I'm going crazy. You can bring him up for sure. I know what you're talking about, and he's got the long hair, and he, he always flipped it handsome. to the side. Yeah. Yeah. That motherfucker was a dime piece. Yeah. I wouldn't hire Nick. He's too light in the ass for my girl. Nah, I know. Vin was just too. I don't know. I didn't trust him. I like. I wouldn't hire the old guy. I like Bra hair. Brace has been on our show. Brace was on the show? He's Multiple times. Yes. Dude, he talks like that. Multiple times. <laughs> yeah. This Brace dude right talks here. like that. This yes. Yeah. That yeah. dude. Ash. Ash. Yes, Ash. Yeah. Ash, yeah. 
at because also he's great. He's gonna be like, let's get our chakras aligned. Yeah. And he's not a threat. Yeah, he's more like a chick than anything. And then like afterwards, she'd be like, that was really special. Thank you. For Thank you. Me. Now yeah. I'm gonna go back to Brendan because he's an animal. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. way too peaceful. But yeah. Brace might give your girl a whole new world. You know? He's too old. He's too old. I don't know. I don't you don't like think Brace. you don't think he gets fired up though every now and then? Nah, it's artificial fired up. And then you got Nick, too skinny, weird. I love the rap battles. Yeah. yeah. And oh, then the rap, the rap battle. battle. He was uh, so bad. We made he fun of him on the so, show. Oh my god. Did you how about when they did the roast? When they had to write uh, jokes? Oh, I didn't And Nick didn't goes, get that nah, back. I can do this. I don't need to write. And just gets up there and you never seen it? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. completely bombs. Of course. Horrible. It's yeah. great. And then the guy he goes, right. I've been working on my raps. My raps. Like, By the way, um, we're huge fans of Nick's um, videos. Have you seen his videos like on YouTube? No. His music videos? No. Like, come on. You got to go down the rabbit You've hole. You've never bro. done that? No. Oh, it's oh, so great. Dude. Why did they stop making it? I feel like they ran out of material. I mean, they did like six, seven seasons, man. Yeah. Well, why run. stop there? I think, I Like, let's get a new crop of young cats who just I dicking know. girls down. I don't know, man. Like, why not do an all-black one? <gasps> oh, that'd, now, be, that'd awesome. be a good show. How, wouldn't you be into that? Yes, of course. Absolutely. So why not follow some whores? Yeah. Like, yeah. mix it up all girls. I'd like that. Yeah. The girls aren't trying to do it, though. I know. The girls yeah. don't want It's a bad look for them. You know what? It's funny. I could when I had never Brace on, Brace was like, Every time I'd be like, I was like, "What's up, you old ass hoe?" And like, uh, he was like, "Just to be clear, <laughs> I'm not some back alley trick. Like, I'm like, that's not like forty I'm bucks, not alley cat, yeah, just bro. Like sticking my dick." And I go, "Come on, man, you know you're old hoe." <laughs> He's like, "I'm not a hoe." He's like, "I'm a high end." Like they, they always like make it clear high end escort yeah, yeah nah yeah. bitch you're a whore you're yeah. just getting paid a ton of money for it you he's hoe. he's actually very nice brace is very sweet he's from the midwest and he's like no, uh, he's awesome he's like really he sweet guy he does a vitamin supplement <laughs> line <laughs> i know i love yeah. brace and um he wants to get into like Make health and zero dollars zero dollars he's slanging vitamins that's how yeah. his movie ends yeah. he's slanging vitamins and still dyeing his hair i think what so? is that song he's called sweet, do you remember like, which one i'm working a sweat i'm breaking a sweat but that uh, one, that's Nick Hawk's jam. There's Born to Be Bad. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this shit. <laughs> I was born this way. I was born this way. I was born this way. From the film American Justice. Oh, I've seen that. It's not from the film. My spirit starts shit. My mind's hot wire. <laughs> you, you can't blame me for it. You spark my fire. I paid a lot more. I walk a tight wire. I walk a tight wire. I walk a tight wire. I insist my incense, Sandy, for incense. Just so intense. We take you back to Laura Ben. I'm not mad at it, Joe. Go, Nick. Go, yeah. Nick. You're feeling it, right? Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm breaking a sweat. That one's my favorite. Okay, let me see if I can find it. I'm breaking a sweat. He's kind of killing it, though, because the other guys ain't doing shit. Shit. I don't get why Nick doesn't become a DJ like Paris Hilton or something and just dick girls down after the show. That's a yeah. good idea. Actually, DJing maybe would be better lane. Right? Yeah. Like, just put your iTunes podcast playlist on and just I don't even see it up there anymore, man. Just Google, I'm breaking I, a sweat. I, I just put it on. You know what I found when I put in, I'm breaking a sweat? <laughs> I found this. making fun of it? It's us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I got, I got the song that you sent me. Yeah. Did I? Um... Yeah, you did. Where's uh, Gigi? You're thick there, bro. Um, Brave. He's uh um, He's so it's us. amazing. He has that, you know what his he's tattoo is, right? No, what is Venom that? on the show. From the, the comic book Venom? Uh, uh, really? Oh, yeah, Spider-Man God. Venom. He has the Venom and, all over. Um, We've been theorizing yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's super airbrushed. It's our show, he's though. So maybe she'll... Damn it, that ass pig. It's more intense, you know? Let's see. You can't really... Here we go. We've played. We're breaking this, goddamn yeah. it! We're breaking, breaking a sweat. The name of this song. Oh, this is. Um, if you listen debut. a few episodes back, I don't remember the episode number. We could look it up. I'm sweating. And just we'll do. How many episodes have you guys stations done? Do that. Like, is it hot or not? Like, call 13. us. Let us You've know. You've been doing it for how long? You can't really call us, but Year, seven you can certainly let us know. Seven well, you years? can certainly comment on YouTube. On. Yeah, let me see. I, w- I want you to hear. You gotta hear it, bro. Yeah, just. <laughs> I'm breaking a sweat. You know, it's not for everyone. Yeah. It's just music is not for everyone. <laughs> it's just not sometimes, Nick. Yeah. He does it all, though. You know, he raps, poetry. Raps. Yep. Poetry. Fights, jiu-jitsu. Fights. Oh, dicks, is that right? Dicks, down. Dicks. Mm, you tattoos. He is one of those guys. That like he can't figure out life, but no, but he's one of those. Guys <laughs> is that what you were saying? Like, like you can't figure it out. No, like really, like not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> he 
just can't figure it out. <laughs> that is so accurate. We've been trying to analyze yeah. him. He can't I figure it Like he's For like, years. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. They're like, you ever try? I'll join the swim team. He All right, is... fuck it. I'll do the swim team. <laughs> he is two <laughs> degrees off. off of Joe Rogan. Like, <laughs> fuck. Shut the he fuck is. Up. Joe does everything and then figures out how to do everything well. Right. And like, if. He's if like you, his retarded, yes. evil brother, yes. younger you, brother. He's like, you I want to try. Like, I want to do everything too. But like, none of it is. It's just a complete mess. It's a mess. Mm-hmm. And I love watching messes. Like, I know. He just can't figure it out. Yeah. He yeah. just, yeah. you know, if you're like, hey, you know, Nick's a U- UPS driver. Like, yeah, that makes sense, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you get to Walmart. You're like, what the fuck? You don't work at Walmart. You're like, new gig, bro. New gig, man. I'm trying to figure it out, man. I'm trying to figure shit out. Dog. <laughs> and next thing you know, life coach. Yep. Oh, yeah. he's doing coaching. No. Oh, that's right. He is. He is. Mm. He is. And my buddy yeah. signed up for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he he is. He's doing confidence coaching. Yeah. He teaches you how to be confident. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Because you got to be a confident motherfucker to fail so many times, so many avenues, just keep going. Like maybe you can learn a lot from. Him. I don't know how much he's charging per class, but oh, it's I can a, tell you, it's a lot. Your boy signed up for it. Uh, there can't be a lot of signups for that. <laughs> if you want go. to be better with cooking. Talk to a chef. If you want to be better with comments, talk to me, Nick Hawk. Ranging, ranging Skypes and emails or phone calls, ranging from $25 to 100 What about in person, though? Whoa, four hours at my rate, fifteen fifty. <laughs> wow. Does that come wow. with a dick you don't, Wait, or? you don't rise to the top of the most sought-after profession, star on a TV show for six years, perform your own music in Las Vegas' biggest clubs, or become self-made by the age of 35 by being anything less than confident. I'm sold. <laughs> well, I wasn't always that way. Can you being please? scared of the world much of my life. Yeah. Oh, Brendan, please take He's this seminar. New- oh, he has a book, Nick Hawk's 100 Kicks in the Ass, A Guide to Gaining Comments and Reaching Your Full Potential. I mean, wow. he, the guy's killing it. He's trying to be uh, fucking Tony Robbins. I get it. He's trying to figure life out, like you were saying. You know? He's figuring it out. He's, He's fucking. It out. F- who knows? Yeah. If this doesn't work, I don't know. What happened? In, Why didn't they do a porno? Right here? I, I know, know, right? Those guys like all look down on it too. What's going on here? Is she What's, just? Is oh, this it's one a dead? shoot. Remember that was his photo oh, shoot. Oh, they that he showed did. the shoot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is this? Look at his dog. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Can you zoom in on that? What are we working with, Dick? <laughs> I'll tell you if you should be writing confidence books. Uh, I can't really. His hmm. dick is right there on his website. Maybe it is. I don't Gosh, know. that's yeah. It's from Hustler. Well, that is confident. That's yeah. unprofessional. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, well, good job, man. I mean, I don't. Ha- I really don't hate on. I don't. Res- I, yeah, I respect the hustle. I just hope he. You know, I hope he hits that home run because he's hitting a. Bunch of foul balls right now. Yeah, like yeah. if his life is a baseball game, it's a bunch of foul balls. <laughs> a bunch of foul balls. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He is a yeah. lost soul. You know what? He just needs Jesus. He's one of these people that needs. You Jesus. might be right. You think so? Yeah, Has he needs to come to there? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, could be. He needs the Lord. That could be your kid, man. Oh, oh. damn, dude. <laughs> what if your boy turned into a, a male hoe? Would you be proud of him? <laughs> Like a professional, or he's just like a player. No, no, like no, a professional. professional. Oh God, then I failed as a parent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just goddamn. You're like, dude, yeah. what are you doing? He's like, I'm getting paid to fuck, Dad. What's up? <laughs> What's what up, are you Dad? doing? Fucking. We were both competitors, man. <laughs> Trying to keep up, dog. Yeah. I'm in my own lane, man. Yeah, dude. I have a self help book coming out next month. And he keeps Haters? showing you his dick all the time. Haters? Look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Bigger than yours. Better than that fucking Lawrence Vickers bitch you played with. <laughs> What's your nightmare, Brennan, that your child would become? Um, one of those trolls on the internet. True. Like some, sometimes I get a troll on the internet, and I, I won't block or anything. I will DM them. Because I'll go to their page, and if they're not private, most trolls are, I will go to his page, and if he has kids, I'll just DM him and go, listen, man. You have a right to your opinion. I go, you're a dad. You have a fucking- You really? Yeah, I go, you have a kid, certain ones. I go, you have a kid, man. I go, in 20 years, do you want to be that guy that goes, hey, son, I hate it on this guy who's way more successful than me. Yeah. Check it out. And if you are single, this is probably why, man. I'm doing you solid here. Do yourself do a favor. Do they ever respond? Don't be a loser. Some of them be like, fuck you. And some are like, god damn it, you're right. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Man? But usually I just block them. Yeah, you should. Yeah, and usually I don't even deal with it. I, I usually have someone you know, block them for me so I don't yeah. see it. Oh. So I think everyone loves me. I'm like, right. what? Life's great. You have someone else block for Yeah. Me? How? My brother. Will log in for oh. you? Oh, yeah. He has access to my account. And you're like, just block people that. Yeah, I'll know. Like, 
when stuff came out with you know Nick Diaz or when I was doing the Showtime stuff, some people might not agree with my opinions, and so they'll try to you know troll. So I'm just like, yo, pay attention today, and he'll just go through all of it, so I don't see any of it. That's smart. That's great. I'm gonna have Tom do that when my Netflix special drops. No, people love it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is a clip from Christina's new special. <laughs> this, is, this is the opening. <laughs> this is the opening. Yeah. She's talking to me. <laughs> oh my god. And then I'm like, all right, I, babe, I, why don't you get on stage? Well, all right, well, it's yeah. time to go. The Welcome camera's rolling. Special. What special is this for you? It's my first one. It's your first one? Yeah. Oh, damn, congrats. Yep, thanks, dude. Damn, and Netflix. If, yeah, on, no. if you ain't on Netflix, you ain't, you ain't shit. shit. You ain't shit, dog. You garbanzo beans, man. <laughs> garbanzo beans. <laughs> yeah. I know. I can't believe it. Were you it. nervous for it? Uh, no, because I've been fucking doing it for so long. Honestly, I was not. Because I've been doing it for a minute, and I... How long have you been doing it? 14 years. That's a long time. So I was like, I was so in the zone, dude. I was like, let's go. Yeah, but it's still, it's still like, I get it, you've been doing it for a while, but it's still Netflix. Now I'm, I'm more nervous to sit down and edit it and get that process. I don't know. It's a fucking trip, because you just, I performed in every shitbox in the country, and I've, I've like... You know, I feel like you deserve uh, it. Yeah, it's been like around. A, it's yeah. about goddamn time. <laughs> yeah. And that's the best yeah. way to do something. God. You know, like to be like over ready to do it. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why I wasn't so terrified because I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm like overcooked for it, you know. So I don't know. But especially on Netflix, like if you shoot a good special on Netflix, you're talking about game changer. Like it make or breaks careers. Like there's some guys where whatever, they didn't put their best foot forward and then you're kind of fucked when you go back on the road if it's a bad special. Because now Netflix, if I watch Dave Chappelle, which is the most successful special of all time, most watched, I don't know if you guys know that, yeah. you watch that and it goes, you might also like, and I watch Tom and yours and it's like, oh, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. If it's not, true. if you don't put your best foot forward, especially these days, specials, and you guys know better than anyone, really fuck you. You know what's I'm interesting? I'm sure yours is great. I, it's great. You. It's great. I'm I, sure. uh, I agree. Like, I, I watch some people's shit. I, I think a lot of times they're shot on spec, and so you don't know who it's going to end up. You don't know where it's going to end up. And I do think some people are like, whatever. What do you mean? Because, uh, like, sometimes when you shoot a special, you don't necessarily have a buyer lined up. Yeah, I know. So you just shoot it on, um, you know, with the hopes of selling it. And so maybe some people are like, whatever, it'll be, like, on this tiny platform. No one's going to see it. And, then, you know, they don't really plan. Like, they don't yeah. make it that great. But saying. you went into it with a plan. Hell yeah. Mother, I had a plan. Shit. I've been <laughs> done planning. Yeah. I've been done. You're ready, man. Uh, you should ready. And like, when's it like come Tiffany out? Haddish. Next couple weeks October Tiffany 10th. Haddish is killing it I, know. I, like I love her. Tiffany she's, she's, she's fantastic she's I've never met her she's dope oh yeah. she's the best yeah. very 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 talented yeah yeah she's got like some new movie deals dude she's killing it she's yeah. killing it she's fantastic yeah. um, I hope everything works out obviously in your life in your marriage but if it doesn't maybe <laughs> anyway I'm back with another upload today and by the title of this video you may have worked out that I am going to be doing the guide to getting a girl, the guide to getting a girl, the guide to getting a girl, the guide to getting a girl. This is a girl. Yeah. So this dude's going to yeah. help you get oh, a girl. Oh, God, man. You know what I mean? It's such a struggle. Do you feel like he gets laid? <sighs> uh, yeah. This guy? What about in your, no. in your single days and, oh, and your fighting? The puss. There, there's like a whole groupie like, world. Talking about cage rats? Is it K Drax? I just made that up. I don't know. I don't, That's I don't know a great term. term. I don't know what you call them. I don't like K Drax. They're just there for you guys, I assume. Uh, for you guys. Um, I mean, when you're fight, when you're at, you're in the UFC and you're fighting. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody knows about NBA and NFL and like you know getting off the team plane and all that stuff. But like, here's you guys the difference. Like, roll well, solo. Yeah, know? here's but here's the difference. So. NBA, NFL, they have NBA, NFL money, so they're getting different type of hoes. Right. However, mm. if shit breaks down, we can beat up any NFL or NBA player. So yes, there's true. that kind of tribal yeah. thing where girls go, holy shit, there's one alpha male. Right. Like if a fighter walks in a party, and no matter even at the ESPYs, if a fighter walks in the party, everyone's like, okay, so there's the alpha. It's just the alpha. genetically like they right. know what's and you, going on. You do so it. girls, they are drawn they're to a little it. drawn to that. However, now I would say... I get more. I get hit on way more, and more people slide my DMs now more so than ever that I've gotten into comedy. Not even close. What? Not even close. Maybe because you're more accessible you're, now. Yeah, maybe it's because that you're, might be it. Yeah. But also, um, may yeah, maybe or maybe also, 
you know, one thing people like to do. That I know why. Com- you know, the, the common thing is they like to laugh. So they know oh, if yeah. you're. No, I'll tell you why, Brendan. <laughs> if you look at the pool of dudes doing stand up, you're they the look looker like... of the bunch. There you go. Sorry. Take 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 the. You're the looker. <sighs> hey man, I've been doing this shit for 14 years. I've been looking at the dudes in the biz. Aside from my husband, who's a handsome Tons fella, piece, who please. I married the dime piece. Yeah, Tom's uh, the dime uh, piece. There's oh, not wow. a lot of eye candy yeah. by way of male comics. So, so Brendan's but a handsome. If you're funny young man. and handsome, Chris D'Elia is double a hit. Chris he's D'Elia, a he looks he's... a little weird, but he's a dime. <laughs> yeah, Chris, you know you have a long neck, but he's a little dimey. <laughs> got a got a nice long neck. A lot of nice long features on Chris. Long features. Really? Lean. I mean, he's a lean, handsome it? young man. Hilarious. I mean, I've seen him, yeah. Nice. Course. You've seen that dog? I smelled it. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. Oh. Yeah. It smells good. I would say Chris is the most handsome dude in comedy. He's definitely, uh, I mean, I, here's Tom the thing. Cigarette I would say that there's a. Uh, well, f- we're going to go Tom just because, you <laughs> yeah. know. I would say there's a. Uh, over the years, there's there's been a couple women that agree with you on Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so, two or three. <laughs> um, at least yeah I guess because there, there's some we are in a business of of not good looking guys no you guys in, are in all comedy talk about dogs the yeah. dog pound it's it is, <laughs> it, male comics or dog is. pounds I mean it's, it's the place God. to succeed for like you're the, the uglier and the, the worse your attributes the, it's better yeah it's I better know. who was who it uh, Eric Griffin you know Eric yeah, yeah. yeah. he's great <laughs> I just said it uh, at the improv and he got after me and he was like I don't know what the fuck that is. Comics don't look like that. Comics look like this. He <laughs> yeah. lift his shirt up. Yeah. He's like, that ain't comedy. Yeah, I was like, oh, funny. fuck. That's uh, funny. Yeah, yeah. But funny. I mean, yeah, I mean, comics look like, you know, like shit, man. Like Bert. Like, like, <laughs> he looks look like shit. Yeah. But you know what? Logan else? looks good. No, yeah. no. But I think yeah. the tide has turned now because it's, it's cool to work out. And that's true. If you look that's at different thing. Dave Chappelle, who got in he got, shape, he got, red. He he got, got big. He got thick, man. Right? He's. Clearly on TRT. Oh, what I mean. What's TRT? Testosterone replacement therapy. Um, because, but he. You don't go from his. He frame was like size a buck like, forty. He was so skinny. So skinny. And now he was he like carries, Tyrone Biggums. That's yeah. where it came from. And then now he's like. Rip. Remember when Dr. Dre got big? He got like you know. Yeah. That's, that ain't normal. His age just get put on thirty pounds of muscle. Yeah. yeah. But now it's cool to be in shape. That's I true. Think. It's, it's. I think because people now. just respect health more. Now. Yeah. You know, it's like. We're the, like m- much more so than 20, 30 years ago. That makes sense. You know, people are always like. I feel like Carrot Top was the first. Oh, Carrot Top, too. He got, he got insane. Super He's still Jackie Jack. Yeah, man. Jackie like, so Jack. much steroids. God. <laughs> I bet, like, he Jack. takes enough where he might be able to, you might be able to convince him he could beat you in a fight, you know? Good chance. Might, yeah, he'd be like, dude, you got this shit, man. He's retired. <laughs> Good chance. Yeah. He's and, crazy enough. He just I don't want like, none of that ah. Carrot Top yeah. fucking. None of I mean, it. He would props and shit. You would have to tape the mouth shut because he will bite the fuck out of you, man. For sure. What do you mean? They tape, they tape their mouth shut? No, but I think MMA. Carrot Top, you have to. I mean, he looks he looks dirty. Out of his hey, mind. Yeah. I'm so surprised you have your teeth. Like, that's great. Do you have all of them? Are they your originals? Yeah, they're all mine. Good. I'd like a pair of veneers, but... <gasps> okay, Wait, let's... go to my guy. These are veneers. Are, are they? they? Great. Yeah, hers are great. Those are nice. Uh-huh. Let's go I'll back, give you though. The guy. You don't have veneers? You said, no. I have perfect teeth. He's though. terrible me, teeth. Look how the yellow they are. Let me see the bottom. Yeah, wait, wait. You can't even see oh, wait, the bottom. Let me say this first. Never, No braces. No retainer. That's crazy. You brush once a day? Twice. Once a day. Twice. Um, once, once a, a week. Day. What? Do you know what? His teeth are pretty fucking fresh. It's pretty nice. I'm yeah. not mad. You drink coffee too? Yeah. Those are legit teeth. Yeah. Do you floss? No. Oh my God. You're yeah. supposed to. You yeah. gotta start flossing. It's gonna change your whole game. I'm let's, telling you. Let's do it. Callum got Invisalign at 50. Yeah, that's good. He looks great though. Callum looks Callum great. Callum great. Yeah. Um, Braces at 50 is a little tough, but. <laughs> Time for an official dental update. When you have veneers, do you have, still have to do everything? Wait, what? When you have veneers, do you still have to do all the regular dental protocol? Here's the thing. Wait, wait. What? Just to be to to get clear for our audience here. Brendan, how would you grade his teeth looking at them? They look nice, right? Those are very clean. They're very straight. They're very white. Uh, your gums look very healthy and Thank not you. red and bleedy. Thank you. Um, I think he's doing great. So genetically, are we just looking at like your teeth? Are, are, do you have a lot of dental work done or no? Zero. I haven't seen Zero. a dentist in about seven years. What? No. And Why? my girl's mom is a dentist. No. What? I'll let your boy. Because seven years let ago. See. Let me see. Smile. No, they look good, but no, your teeth look nice, They could be man. decayed. No, you don't they're even not. Know. Peep it. Peep it. 
I went to a dentist seven years ago. The dentist fucked up and goes, oh, my God. When's the last time you saw a dentist? I went, probably 10 years ago, bitch. She goes, yo, you have genetically gifted teeth. These are some of the best I've ever seen. I went, cool. See you never. And your gums are good? Hunted. And you, you never floss ever? Never. Oh, How about you I drink like Campari and sodas pork. every night. What? Pulled pork? No problem. Oh my God. I drink coffee like a motherfucker. This is my sixth cup of coffee a day. Wait. My shit's still kind of white, kind of look like corn nuts. Do, do you do the whitening? Never. Never. You know why? My what? buddy did it. Teeth like got super sensitive when you do it too yeah. much. Yeah. It wears off the enamel. Yes, yeah. yes. That's He's what on it does. a jet ski. Kaboof! Knocked out all his teeth. <gasps> oh. Cracked them all in half. How often was he doing it? A lot. That's yeah. why you can't, you like, yeah. every three years maybe you can do it professionally, but don't do those fucking strips, man. Listen, They're dangerous. You can feel them burning. Of course. Yeah, it's no, nice. don't I, do I, it did, I just did my teeth whitening about six weeks ago, and it was- It I mean, hoits. The, what's that? It hoits. The, actually, the funny thing was 24, maybe 30 hours later- Sensitive. Was more sensitive than immediately leaving there. But you can't drink but coffee, the, right? No. I didn't drink coffee for a day. No, for a day. I can't do that. I'm out. Yeah. I tried wean off coffee for a day. I sh- swear to God. No, no. Cold sweats in the fetal position on the ground. Sweat. What? How much are you drinking a day? Six, seven cups oh, a day. Oh, boy. So it's real wild, man. Do you, you pee enough? Are you hydrating enough? Yeah. No What's your, water? What color is your oh, yeah. pee? Oh, clear. Yeah? So okay. you really balance out your coffee oh, yeah. through water. I drink fluids nonstop. So your day. teeth look great. Thanks, they man. I still want veneers, though. Do you want to do... Okay. You, you should Let's do talk that. about it. Yeah. What about the um, that water pick? You ever think about using that or anything? Nah, I, f- I don't feel like there's any need to. Well, yeah. You, she said you're like genetically gifted. Yeah. So, so once she told me that, does I'm like, the fam, see bitch. Does the fam all have great teeth? Uh, like Pops, mom? Pops. My mom's a little yellow, not going to lie. Yeah. My mom's teeth are... Your mom's, what, 60-something? My mom's teeth look like corn nuts. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Right. I know. Man, Your dad's She's good? older. My dad's straight. My brother had braces for about eight years. Is your brother an athlete too? No. no. Computer guy. Computer engineer. Smart. I would suggest, Vernon, I mean, smart. look, eventually you're going to, how old are you now? 34. You got to start flossing just for your health. For yeah, your, I your, concerned. Try it. You just said try it. Once you start, it's very hard to, to not do it. It does yeah. feel good once uh, you start doing it. It feels so much better. What if I get veneers to have to floss? Okay, so let's, yes, yes. Yes. Mm, yes. Yes. It doesn't. It doesn't so. exempt you from hygiene. Isn't it like a uh, like a uh, basically like putting a, sh- a windshield on your car? It's terrible. No, the, it's painful and it takes a long time. I'm not gonna lie. They shave down your real teeth. They then they cover it with the fake teeth, the veneer. I it's don't want it's that. a very ordeal. It's an ordeal. Oh, okay. I'm don't not. do it unless you have. I had to because I knocked out half of one what as happened? a kid. Someone punched your face. Yes. No. I was I, on the rings. It was the. Oh, so you've had veneers for a grip. Like my whole life, I've had to get fake teeth. Oh, damn. Because I knocked out half of this one as a kid. It's like a playground accident. Nothing really. I'm not that tough, guys. Uh, we got an email. Can it's I too read much to work you? for veneers. It's so much work. It's, so, it's like a grand a tooth, too, right? Yeah, it's, it's expensive. It's a lot of money. But it's your teeth. You yeah. Know. You should spend the money. To. Here you go. Email. You guys are all about teeth health. Oh, my God. Sake. We love it, man. We love the, teeth. Uh, teeth police. This is, yeah. yeah Jesus teeth Christ. Police. If you don't take care of your teeth, you're out of here, man. Dick detectives. <laughs> teeth <laughs> police. You're out of here, bro. You got the yellow teeth, you out. Oh, God. Dear Mommies, I love the Palmcast and have a quick question for you to ponder upon. Since every other body fluid has a def- definite smell, yeah. do boogers and snot have a scent yes. as well? Yes, yes. Yeah. Have we become so accustomed to the scent that our brain just ignores it? Yes. Mommy Jean's horrible sneeze made me wonder about this. <laughs> Keep it high and tight. Moose soup and dad boners, Dan. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, do you ever take one out and then smell no. it? No. Is that disgusting? No, to you? but I know I smell like my kid's breath when he's got a cold. Yeah, and you know that that's the smell of snot. Yeah, it's snot smell. It's not smell. Yeah, I think there's definite smells. Everything has, but a everything smell. that's in your nose is not going to smell to you, obviously. Well, because, because you, your there. brain gets used to it, yeah. so that you can function. Yeah, otherwise you'd be just completely <laughs> distracted by that smell. Like like L A. If you leave L A. for a while, and then you come back, it smells funky. Yeah. But to us, this is normal. I like. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't like this. I don't like this. What's Whatever that? you're playing. <laughs> is this a, is that a porno? I don't know. Of course. Somebody sent it to me. I'm just playing it. <laughs> someone's going ham. Yeah. <laughs> or someone's getting murdered. Yeah, it's it's either a cartel two. video or porno. <laughs> that was my yeah. sneeze. That's Christina's sneeze on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that horrible? <laughs> 
your sneeze. It upset a lot of people. <laughs> I know. Super fun. All right. We got to oh, get going. Well, um, this was a lot of fun. Thanks thank for coming for and coming. doing the show. Yeah. Man. Thank you guys. I keep in your camera. Right, thank you guys, man. I'm going to break your fucking arm when I get out of this. No, thing, no, man. please. God, no, man. Anything but my arm. Um, Anything? Wait, uh, where can people see you, Brendan, just so they know? I'm in, and thank you, Justin Edbrook. I'm in San Francisco the same night you're in Oakland. Oak Town. What? This, uh Thursday. The yeah, and this Thursday I'm in San Francisco, Cobbs. All right. There's like 20 tickets left. Nice. TFATK.com for tickets. And then the following Friday, I'm at the Laugh Factory in Long Beach. Oh, that's great. TFATK.com. Um, He's got very popular podcasts, more than one. He's got The Fighter and the Kid with very long and thick Dick Brian Callen, we learned. Who we've had on this show before. Yeah. And then he also has uh, Big Brown Breakdown. Correct. Was that That's all fight stuff, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I'll fight boxing. All right. Big what do you Brown. Think's, what's going to happen? Wait, isn't the... Triple G Canel this yeah. weekend. Big uh, are fight. You excited? What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to be a good fight. It's not going to be the fight of the ages like people think. I think uh, the big knock for, I mean, uh, that I've heard from a lot of people, I've watched both those guys fight a good number of times, is that people have knocked Triple G's competition. They're like, he's got these correct. hammer hands. Correct. But it's like a bunch of bums. It's like, you know. I, I mean, wouldn't say bums. I mean, like, Danny Jacobs is a tough customer. And, you know, some people thought he beat him, but, and Danny Jacobs, a bigger guy. But um, again, I, I think it's going to be a really good fight. I think Canelo wins in decision, but yeah. I think most of the public thinks Triple G wins the fight. Then you see him in a rematch, and the rematch will be the ba- barn burner. Okay. But it's, it's a great fight. Best good fight, fight, right? Ah, oh, man. I can't. Last time we had this good of a fight, it's, it's been a long time. Yeah, he really does throw some fucking. Both of them bombs. are. I mean, yeah, they're world, both world, world, world class. World one's class 49 fight. and one, or some shit like that. 42 and one. One's whatever. If you like boxing, that's a good one. It's a good one to watch. Best man. boxing match in, matchup in a long, in a long time. All right. This Saturday, yeah. Don't forget, check out Brendan's shop. Check out uh, October 10th. Mark your calendars. Mark your queue. Cue Christina it up. P. Mother Inferior on oh, yeah. Netflix. I should also note that I'm going by Christina P. now, so you don't have to type in the whole fucking horrible last name. It Just Christina up. P. Just Christina P. Bros. Oh, like Mother, P. Diddy. Like P. Diddy. It's called Mother Inferior, and you can search for it this Friday and queue it up on your list. So we so see it. it. Yeah, we're very excited. Very excited. Baller move. All right. <laughs> Bye guys. No fast, fast, fast. A shagged bat. A shagged bat. No fast, a shagged bat. No fast, a shagged bat. A horse dick in your ass. No fast. A shagged bat. No fast, a shagged bat. No fast, a shagged bat. That's like a thing. No fast. I shall get back. No fast. I shall get back. No fast. I shall get back. Fuck by a horse cock. No fast. I shall get back. No fast. I shall get back. No fast. I shall get back. That's like a thing. No fast. No fast. I shall get back. No fast. I shall get back. No fast. I shall get back. 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 Get fucked by a horse cock. A horse dick in your ass. That's like a thing. Get fucked by a horse car!